What is wrong with Skype? I'm gonna I, don't know your, I think it's your glorious dialogue. <laughs> I, got, I don't have dialogue. I, got, I, I have suddenly, thank you very much. <laughs> All right. Okay, so who's everybody else down here? Like, who's Shark Cena? Uh, Shark? Are okay, you sure? I, I think I like Shark Cena better. Who's <laughs> Howard Stanford? I don't know, to be perfectly honest. Who are you people? Yeah, let me see. Let me see. Oh, it's Banner. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's Banner. That's right. That's there he is. That's right. Okay. Uh, do we have everyone here? I like it. Matt's awkwardly silent. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, Matt's like, oh, my God, who are these people? Oh, my God. I don't know who. I don't know who anybody is. <laughs> I was Mess. just added to a random Skype group chat because Again. I was forced to. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> uh, who are you on, TK? Space G92. Oh, you're a Space G92. Oh. He's a, he's a moderator. Kaiju X has been wondering who the hell the Space G92 fella is. <laughs> Harry, I hear he likes ponies. Get out of here. I'll kick you in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Abusive relationship. <laughs> what you gonna do, Matt Van Hayden? <laughs> uh, <laughs> hey, See if we hey, can break you. the record. Oh, jeez. Hey, Joe, well, if you think the point of stuff they're not, they're, 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 pre they're pretty much like this whenever they're not. You know, uh, here. <laughs> I, I can see that. I can see that. <laughs> I'm not joking. They're exactly like this. <laughs> it's worse. <laughs> it's worse, actually, yeah. Oh, jeez. Like just like you're starting to just kick him in the face, Matt. That's awfully tame of you. <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez. It must be a good day. All it right, is. good to know. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna be starting like basic introductions. It'll go like uh, I guess uh, shippers, MM, and then uh, you, Space G. So if that's all right. So yeah, anyway. Fine. Welcome to this month's KWCC, everyone. I am Kaiju X, the second command and chief editor of the Kaiju War Chronicles uh, subsection on Toho Kingdom. I think you all know who I am by now. Hopefully. I don't. Can you repeat that? I I am Shipper's Dreamer, the king of Ghidorahs. I'm MM and I'm still banned. <laughs> I was, it's, it's staying that way at this rate, man. <laughs> I'm yeah. 92 oh. and Kaiser Ghidorah is the best. <laughs> yes, yeah. You can get out. <laughs> All right, call's over. We need to teach about a, we need to teach about a lesson. <laughs> How dare. <laughs> I think Durazorb tried to join in. Get in I here. I tried calling him in. Well, I'm, I'm going to I'm gonna try and add him in, too. Get in here, you, ner you nerd. Or banned. <laughs> Curse him, you don't come with a KWC, this is what you're yeah. banned. So, yeah, he used to be, uh, Derzerb's been busy for a while, so. <laughs> yeah, he's been real busy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna put that in quotes, because I don't know. I never really ask. <laughs> yeah, he's busy. <laughs> <laughs> we think. <laughs> yeah. But so anyway, um, MM, you actually brought something to my attention that was very interesting. Uh oh, what'd you do this time? Elay King. Elay uh, King. Elay yeah, King. I found. I found a loophole. Uh oh, uh oh, yeah, uh oh. Where's Gray Shot? He needs to hear this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what I is it? Go on. Uh, it's in one Ultraman Taro episode that Toho distributed. It happens to have this little scene in it. Oh, man. Where they're describing the back history of the Land of Light. And it's a painting, which they show on screen for a couple seconds. I don't know how long. Matt probably knows more than I do. Uh, has a bunch of monsters in it, as you can see. Uh, Snowgon's there and Sartan, so if Beef was in this call, he would be, he'd be flipping right now. Look at all the Ultra Monsters! <laughs> yep. And, uh, uh... Oh, yeah, um, let me see if I can get him in. Cannot believe. 
But Elay King's back there, and so. Hang on, I'll, I'll, I'll hang on. Oh wait, that's right. Uh, Heart, uh, shippers, you're gonna need to add Gray Shot. In. I need to. I, I need to add. I need to. Add, yeah. I also have another question for you guys. On. Yeah. On King Soros is in that picture. I mean, by the law, by the law, by what you're presenting, we could, objectively speaking, add these monsters if Grayshot approves of adding Ella King. However, I don't want we I'm we don't want to like hey. overly oversaturate the the KWC roster with a whole butt ton of ultra Hi, monsters. I, Get I, 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 in here. I distinctly agree with exactly what you're saying, mm -hmm. but. On the other hand, oh, gray shot. On, on the Your other worst hand, nightmare has been confirmed. On the on the other hand, mm -hmm. who doesn't? And this better get put into the actual video as a picture. Want to see this fight Godzilla? <laughs> oh, jeez! I cannot. I can't. And sorry. I want to see that fight, Gabra. <laughs> 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 Well, to be fair, I've actually been searching around for a t uh, elephant e kaiju for a while, for a while to be honest. Yeah, there, there's no, certain, no, there's no, but no, 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 but yep, yep, yep. Oh man, great! Uh, he's already saying no. <laughs> he's already saying no. He just got in here, and those are his first words. <laughs> oh, great That's time. my first words, basically every time I'm here. Thank you. <laughs> Not only when MM's around. True. But but seriously speaking, no gray shot. You know who LA King is, right? Uh, yes, he's isn't he like the bug kind of like the Uh he's the electric eel kaiju from Ultra 7. Yeah. He, yeah. I think you're confusing uh, him with LA King. I found a loophole that would let him in. Wait, so is it LA King or Ella what is it? <laughs> I say Ela King. Or yeah, I think it's just a, I think it's just a matter Shut of personal up, preference. <laughs> Go ride a Kaiser Ghidorah. <laughs> I hate you. Go ban yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I hear that. Can't ban. Remember? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I I okay. And how exactly do would you get him in? And what can okay, you do? Well, um, Remember the same way the Ultra Seven's getting in from being in that Ultra Seven, that Ultra Mantaro thing that Toho released. Yes. Well, it turns out that that same episode had that pic, this here picture in it, which is it's a it's a painting. So, all right, it's a painting. They're going over the Land of Light, you know, the Ultra World, the Ultra's homeworld's history, and it that painting goes on screen. It's like a full shot like you know it's what's in the screen uh stays on screen for quite some time and there in the background is he laking i can hear grish are crying in the distance uh not in the distance but far closer so <laughs> what e so what exactly can this thing do what you laking yes i believe he can shoot like uh, uh like he can shoot he can generate electricity he has an extremely, extremely long and very flexible tail. Uh, he can shoot electric bolts. He can shoot electric waves. Uh, uh, well, I, guess, I guess if you want to go oh, with my... video game powers, there's EX Lay King, where he turns uh, into a snake. Uh, EX is, there, is probably is there gonna be kind of out of the question, but is is there a reason why his hands look like Ethernet ports? Because uh, he's electric. Uh, yes, sure. Because he's electric boogaloo. <laughs> <laughs> and he's awesome. He's one of the most popular and well-known Ultra Kaiju of all time. That I could actually sort of uh, agree with in the sense that Ella King is actually, again, like Alien Bolton or Z uh, Zeton, you know, he's he's one of the more popular monsters. So I think Very even though popular. he is kind of on the so kind of simpler side of things in terms of abilities, he does have a place in, like, the Ultra series, yeah. or, you know, even just among kaiju fans in general. And if you want to see a quick fight of... I'm gonna, I'll, 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 I'll link it so... So, uh... Kaiju X here can link it in the video. Whoa. Okay, right, right. I'm, I'm, just, ima I'm just imagining Grey Shots just trying to... Uh, but I'm gonna... I'll go ahead and share screens real quick. 
and show a quick fight of Eli King versus Dorocko from Ultra Galaxy. Dorocko. So will Khan be able to get his electric powers from Ellie King? Question mark. I'd imagine. I don't know if you can hear or see. Here we go. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Oh, the other one. Sit down. Huh? We can hear everything. <laughs> I just pray Subaraya doesn't take down this video for this bit. <laughs> Even if it's just strictly <laughs> audio. <laughs> Take down the audio. Yeah. There's some very JPEG screenshots. Oh, that explains it. I was wondering what, where that audio was coming from. I was like, I'm watching the video. Where is it coming from? And I was like, oh. Uh, Go, Jingu Bridge. <laughs> <laughs> Kiss the cup start. <laughs> and I'll be honest, one of the biggest benefactors of the Ultra Kaiju, at least from speaking about uh, banners here, is that a lot? Their designs, for the most part, have pretty much remained the same since their first uh, appearance. Yeah, I mean there are redesigns here and there, but the best part about Ultra Kaiju is that for the most part their designs I, are pretty much the I same. Am so it's like literally just waiting to ride Red King falling off a cliff in slow motion. I'm just waiting. Oh, <laughs> I could do that. <laughs> you mean you mean like the giant chasm? Yeah, I will. I will do everything in my power to make that happen in a match. <laughs> they didn't want to pay the shipping charge to send it back. So they're okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> I think I'm joking, but I'm not joking. <laughs> He's only half I will joking. Do it. <laughs> oh boy. But uh, yeah, I'll, I'll think about that one. Um, think, think. I'll th yeah, that that's the word I'm going to use. Yeah, definitely think, think, think about think, it. Think no. <laughs> think no. <laughs> like, it, how can you deny you liking? He is the best. I, I don't um, know who Lake King is, but I know Lake King. <laughs> Matt, <laughs> Matt, go ride a kaiser. I will. Man, Matt, get out of the call. <laughs> well, actually, that reminds me. Um, so Kaiser Ghidorah might actually be coming to the KWC. That's actually something well, I want to do. Oh good. yes. Why? Good, good. I, I'm good. I'm all for this because I can't wait. I, I, oh, I, I, I need to know why. I, I am honestly confused why he's going in. So recently, we've been under discussion. Uh, Andrew and I have, or Andrew brought up the attention of possibly bringing in other forms, specifically Mothra. Lee. Bailante, Rose, and a few others, and including this was Kaiser Ghidorah. Now, uh, the main note was, I wanted to speak to Anthony about it, and he r made the note that aggressive forms seem kind of counterintuitive to the KWC, as he, he wanted, uh, as a, uh, again, the main note, our goal is to, uh, is to showcase the monster at its pinnacle, and destroy and, and his example was, destroy it may split apart, but he still reform, like, he still turns to that, where and Batra can go back and forth. That was kind of like the idea behind him because Batra Larva was, I, and some many people make their more powerful, but there is no advantage to Rose or like Larva. Everything, like it, it's buffed. Except for True. Like, uh, but the counterpoint to that was Kaiser, technically Monster X turns into Kaiser. That'd be, you know, an upgrade. And it would get around the fact that, yeah, we don't, you know, the Ghidorah. So I'm considering it right yeah. now. It's nothing confirmed, but... I am heavily leaning towards it, to be honest. I, I, think well, that because, I, 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 would I would love to end the trilogy, the great trilogy. Oh, jeez. With having Monster X turn into Kaiser Ghidorah to fight Maguma, and Maguma still win. Kaiser Ghidorah commits Harakiri with his own tusks, or with Maguma's tusks. <laughs> I'm just putting it out there. <laughs> So going back to that image you sent no, a while ago, am I, am I the only one else who's offended that Black King's green? Yeah, I know. I don't <laughs> so know what's up with that. Racist. Yeah, I don't know what's up with Black <laughs> King being a different color. I noticed that too. <laughs> it's like I know, like Red King is beige, and then occasionally he's red. No, Black no, King is black, and now and he's green. It's like make up no, no, what's no, Super no, on colors. No, 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 Matt. We want to shut up for a minute. Here's what here's what's gonna happen. If you put Kaiser Ghidorah in and and I'm uh, 
and I'm like, hey, see, Ghidorah's not out. I will write a sequel with four Ghidorahs. <laughs> I, oh, I will make it even worse. No, five. Five, five Ghidorahs. Desk uh, remember? True. Oh, fuck, yes. I will put all five Ghidorahs in one match, and I will make it as confused as humanly possible. Speaking Everyone of the Ghidorah. Speaking of very confusing matches, I have a couple questions near here that now that Kaiju, oh, Andrew, and uh, Tyler and stuff and everyone are here. Um, first, the question: When is the official Godzilla Source cutoff date? Uh, it was cut off on January first. So yeah, this was done long time ago. Yeah. Uh, so, so I can't submit another match with Godzilla Source in it. Afraid you yes. can't. Huh? No, I'm confirming Andrew. Yes, you can't confirm. You can't send any more in. But I will uh, be posting I, them, and once I run out, they're going to be done. Okay, so I, 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 I got this. Even though, even though my idea here would be the greatest send off to Godzilla Source ever. Uh, oh so, no! Second, se- secondly, how would you? If it's guys- him, if it's him versus Monster X, no. No, it's it's not. Uh, how would you guys feel? Like you know, I'm I'm speaking directly to uh, you know. Gray shot here and Kaiju X. Mm-hmm. Yes. If you guys were actually involved in a KWC match as characters, oh, yeah, no, come on. <laughs> <laughs> um, huh. it would um, like I, would... I, I was like you, you, you like like Gray shot. I I can tell you your role is going to be equivalent to Vince McMahon. Yeah, yeah, Vince McMahon, damn it. Vince McMahon, the owner is of the... Either... My name oh, is okay. Great gotcha, Shot. Gotcha. I run the Kaiju Wrestling Federation. Because <laughs> there's also going to be... Because the, the idea I have is the match is going to start out as something simple, like Godzilla and Godzilla Jr. versus Space Godzilla. And it's going to take place in, like, you know, like a wrestling, like giant monster wrestling federation type thing. But then someone else gets involved... And just opens up like all the doors, and he's just laughing. I call dibs on color commentary. And it's gonna be pretty much like, okay, here's all the Godzillas flooding the arena, and then like time portals are opening up, and like there's. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> like I'm flushing the idea out. I'm gonna write it. <laughs> and, and there's gonna be a, a certain like the whole thing is gonna end with. You know, by like a burning Godzilla going meltdown, and then like through the ashes of all the death and destruction, a Godzilla source rises up and he's winner. <laughs> no, 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 no. It, yeah. it has to be true Vince McMahon fashion. He's gonna, Grace is gonna strut on down to the rain, let Godzilla source rise in the eye, and go, Godzilla source, you're fired! Exactly, exactly. That'd be, the, that'd be a great send off to Godzilla source. So. We need college Godzilla Generations Max on impact. Exactly that. Yes, exactly. We can do yes, good. I like that. To, ca- to counter your point and to counter the thing, I would want me to me I uh, you can make Andrew like that, but I want to be as realistic as possible, so I want myself to be boring. I want myself to not make sense in any com- in any of the, uh, the dialogue that I say and uh <laughs> maybe just a whole bunch of negativity around me. <laughs> okay, that, okay, I can, I, I, I can work with that too. I'll just also, I'll, also, I get tons of hate mail and am not liked whatsoever. So there we go. Realistic <laughs> as possible. You're Vince McMahon. <laughs> exactly. Okay. So, so, is this, so is this good then? Am I, am I, am I, am I will do this. <laughs> I will give confirmation. I, have... I will allow. Th- I will allow this as a Godzilla send off. Oh, I will okay. allow this. Right. Okay, okay, so I'm just, source. I'm just, I'm just saying it again here now. It's going to be Godzilla versus Godzilla Junior. Versus Godzilla 14, versus Space Godzilla, versus Mecha Godzilla, versus Mecha Godzilla Showa, versus Kiyu, versus Godzilla Saurus, versus Zilla, who's actually going to have Movie Zilla and GTS Zilla, Cyber Godzilla, and pretty much anything in the entire franchise history that has Zilla in the name. Okay, perfectly fine. Hey, here we come, money talks. Here comes the money. <laughs> money, 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 money. It's great, money. great shot. Just okayed this whole thing. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's actually a little surprised. Like Grisha was like, okay. Oh, oh, yes. Sorry. It sounds it sounds creative. I'm 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 open for creativity. <laughs> no, are you gonna, well, to be sorry, fair, are you gonna, are you gonna, are you gonna uh, uh, Real quick, I think G98 could technically be replaced by Cyber Godzilla since you know the two are technically the same. 
you know? Well, I'm, just saying, when I'm I, just saying. Remember when I said it's going to be... If, it works. if you want to be really technical, there were three Zilla babies, not one. Actually, there were, there were hundreds. Yeah. And so you remember when I said yeah. a time portal was going to open up? Oh, gosh. <laughs> one of the time portals was going to open up into an alternate future where there's hundreds of Zillas running around. So, like, there's Godzilla, <laughs> I know. There's Godzilla's, there's Godzilla's just grabbing Zillas as weapons and just throwing them. <laughs> and throwing them. <laughs> And at some point to go further into the future, and then there's a bunch of cyber Godzillas because the alien invaders came back. <laughs> Actually, really, like you mentioned the future. Okay, I have a legitimate question. Can we have matches actually take place, you know, in like the golden age future that the you know Futurians talked about, with like Godzilla's protected Japan for eons and stuff? Well, that's mentioned in the film, so I don't see why not. Honestly, I'd be kind of wanting to. Uh, sort of kind of like a just go on some like base things in sort of like stuff mentioned in Godzilla lore and just kind of like flesh yeah. that out a little more in my yeah. own image. So like like so like the um, uh, like what the, the thirty to twenty the thirty to forty year span of King Ghidorah just kind of being on Earth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, like the time he was sitting there on Lagos, it'd be like, ooh, what can I do about that? <laughs> for, yeah, and for anyone who is here. During a certain recording session that I'm not going to specify, uh, I either that or the last KWC, either that or the last KWCC, I can't remember. But I mentioned I was going to be revisiting a match, uh, a match I wrote a long time ago, shortly after Gidor Heisei Ghidorah was retired. And if anyone <laughs> remembers, it was pretty much Heisei Ghidorah fights the Amoeba Trio. And, you know, he, he's supposedly, like, supposed to restrain from using his gravity beam, so he has to go all physical on the three. Then oh, the yeah. yeah, you mentioned that. Does in the that, last that, does that mean we're getting Ganymedes, finally? Yeah, um, I wouldn't mind adding him, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, so I mean we're actually getting the rest of the, um, uh, you know, Amoebas, other than fucking Gazora. Right, well, right. I think Kaboy Boss has been confirmed already now, hasn't he? <laughs> right, <Kaboy> right. I think Magnus here bat shutter room with <laughs> <laughs> Right, right. I mean, it's like, I'll be honest, Ganymus isn't my favorite monster. For that matter, he was my least favorite for a long time until kind of recently. But honestly, I don't mind him being in the KWC. It kind of completes the whole Amoeba He's trio not... thing once Kamebus gets in here. But, uh, but again, like everything in the KWC, you know, these things happen. Well, you'll just have to wait. So. Uh, no, if, we, if we get Ganymus, you know what I'm smelling right now? Oh god! Ominous foreshadowing. <laughs> I'm smelling Ganymedes, Gazora, and Kamoi Boss versus Bagan. Oh, uh, well god, at least. Again. Well, at least Bagan gets the honor of fighting multiple monsters compared to <laughs> Monster X. Kamoi Boss and Gazora will just stand back. You can have a true recreation of GMK in the KWC. Godzilla versus Kamoi Boss. Baragon, Mothra, and King Ghidorah. No, you need Varen. He needs to be there just for cameos. No. <laughs> <laughs> he needs to be there for cameos. And then Monster and then Monster X dies somehow at the end. <laughs> yeah, he's not even involved in the match, but he dies anyway. <laughs> yeah. That again falls on him like a sumo wrestler. Right. Crushes him. From the sky. No, 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 no. I, I would just imagine the two monsters are fighting if, you know, there's just dramatic, you know, very detailed sense, and all of a sudden it just cuts to, suddenly Monster X was walking, he had a heart attack, and it just cuts back to, like, the after death. <laughs> best, best KWC ever. <laughs> can, can, I, can I write it? Can I write it? So, um, uh, so, um, I want to, is it, so, um, uh, I want to ask, can I write a KWC that's just basically the many ways to kill Monster X? <laughs> It's not like every... It's like KDMC have every single monster killing it. Monster X versus... Versus everybody. everybody. <laughs> uh, could I technically write that if it's just Monster X versus every single person but he dies at the end of each monster? Ultimate yes. timeline theory. <laughs> I like this. <laughs> that sounds like a... No, I have the, I have the Bandai Monster X figure. And I have a bunch of other figures. Can I like just like make a video of a bunch of like my vinyls just clashing and just strap like just no 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 no. This be great for the KWC animated, by the way. 
Oh, yeah, man. I don't even buy it. I don't even buy it. I'm going to write the match. I'm going to call it the many deaths of Monster Act. You, you, you need to Spanner, you just do what you did. A picture of Monster Act's crying. <laughs> what, what, what I do? You know, with uh, the T Rex. Do you remember? You just need to redo that. I'm trying to think. Oh! <laughs> I'm afraid to ask at this point. <laughs> Joke when he's trying to poke fun at my deep seated anger issues. <laughs> Shut up, Matt. <laughs> Shut up, Matt. I told you I had a flex hit. <laughs> I fix it. I stomped on the box and sent it back. <laughs> just, 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 You're cruel, man. Just that happy, just that happy. I said a poke from my anger issues. Then Shut up, man. <laughs> <sighs> welcome, welcome to the March edition of KWCC, where it's insanity. <laughs> oh, um, so so I know that keeping low tabs on it. Um, I used to be a little more interested in the KWC, but and no offense, to anybody, is Martha Larvae in here at all, or is she not allowed in? Uh, Martha, Leo Larva. Sadly, she's she Martha Larva is not allowed in, but for whatever reason, Leo Larva was allowed. So yeah, that's okay. I, I, that's, 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 I, I just want to say thank you for that so much because it, I'm I wanted to do this July like Fourth of July amazing match, and it's I, I say it's going to incorporate the larva in a way you never thought possible. Doesn't I'm the sure larva I, have a yeah, successful? Do you think the right larva that Leo's larva form got the okay, but Martha's. Because if you want, technically speaking, Mothra's level formed him way more than Leo's ever did. Well, yeah, well, Leo had the has the acidic silk spray. No, so. it's not really. Uh, Leo Larva isn't really acidic as is. It's just the webbing with some energy after effects. So not yeah, really acidic, but yeah. No, 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 it makes like a hissing. Fresh sound. effects breath. Yeah, but then uh, the the breast cannon and everything. <laughs> Right, but yeah, right. I'm planning on like Jet Jaguar and Mothra Leo Larva and a couple other like hero and kaiju like GTS Zilla fighting this like invasion of America headed by Space Godzilla Destroya and King Ghidorah. Ugh. That sounds like the plot to a bad video game. <laughs> it's going to be a bad video game plot, but it's, 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 I'm writing it for one reason and I just want to see this done in the KWC, so I'm going to do it in that match. Oh, jeez. All right. <laughs> I'm just gonna write bag and verse. I want to bag and lose every single time. <laughs> I will make my bag second favorite what, kaiju. Why? When you do bagan versus Monster X, who's gonna win then? No, I'll make it. Either. I'll make it. No, they both, somehow, no. they both commit suicide out of despair. <laughs> well, then Monster, then no, Monster X falls over. That they both stab themselves on their no, no, no. Appendages. Monster, Monster X so pathetic. Go, Bag and laughs himself to death. <laughs> it's a heart attack. <laughs> exactly, and suddenly Monster X appears and falls beside him too. It's it's strange. <laughs> then Gabra, then Gabra just runs over. Claire, <laughs> <laughs> kills himself. Damn you, Claire. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Bag ants, oh like, head spontaneously convulses and stabs Gabra in the neck. <laughs> wow. The bro Dan flies over, does a little life essence energy, oh, yeah. and just, just coughs and bro Dan dies too. We, we had some KWC matches this time. We had some KWCs entered. Uh, actually, we had an animated and a match appear. I think we might have... Do we have two since last time? Uh, hang on, let me see real quick. I know we have the animated, which which was short. Yeah, we have but... two writ prose matches in an animated since the last key. Because uh-huh. I remember we talked about uh-huh. we talked about uh, uh-huh. one sixty five last time. I remember that. Yeah. You see, I wasn't lazy. I wasn't lazy this month. No, I wasn't. Yeah, you wrote, you put in the whole two matches. Good job. I just want to know when when am I going to see the great Hamagidon in the KWC. Still. In the future, you know, like, the more you laugh, the more likely he's gonna put back to bite you. I know, and it's so so much bullcrap. Well, speaking of unfair matches, let's start with the OP match that is Bagan versus Hedora, shall we? Because considering those two are like the most OP monsters, I think in the KWC respectively. Uh, I'd argue oh. like, Kusagami or Armor yeah. Moth. I would say OP Godzilla. Or... I would say Godzilla is more OP than both of them combined. I don't, I don't, I don't... <laughs> 
I, 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 I would argue about Godzilla's legitimacy to that. <laughs> I want to read this match because I don't know who I don't know who Christian Zatkoff is. Uh, That's a but. Uh, yeah, I, uh, Christian Zatkoff is I, Living Corpse. Is that, is that a Living Corpse? Yep, yeah, it's Living Corpse. corpse. Uh, oh. <laughs> and you might I'm gonna say and for a second. I'm gonna say positive for a second. I honestly forgot this match was even posted. <laughs> <laughs> Like, yeah, I, 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 didn't, I didn't even know what you're talking about until you were like, "Oh, match 166 was posted." And I'm like, "Oh, it was." Like, oh. <laughs> she's like, she's like, think yeah. it was. Uh, kind of, wait, wait, hey, man, do you think it was really odd the way match 167 was posted? Like, wait, what's where's 166? I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> like, yeah, I, I think MM's just. I think MM's just automatically programmed to ignore a match that has Baggins' name in it. So it's like. <laughs> I think through MM's perspective, there are a couple matches that are missing within the list. List like they're just a bunch of blank spots. <laughs> like wait, on, guys, I could have sworn this was in order. What the hell? Hold on, guys, I can actually clear this up. Uh, so, uh, so MM, what's number one sixty-seven? Isn't that isn't that Gomor versus Q? Nope. Okay. We also. Yeah. I also should note he has blinders on for any match I write. So uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's time for Godzilla versus C Rex. I remember seeing the banner. I know you want. Now it has Ebra cameo cameoing at the bottom. But yep. again, I just I have not read it yet. Uh, can I ask? Can I ask a quick question that's going to sound really mean, but it's not supposed to be really mean. Go just, on. Is this match like this match isn't like really old, where your your dialogue is? It's it's it, at this point every match after should be fine. It's, There's no it's worries better. there. It's better. Okay, uh, I'll believe Harley then. I'll, I'll read it. Pilot. Like, uh-huh. It's not. It's still not. It's still not the greatest, but it's better. Hey. What? <laughs> and boot. <laughs> the call. I'm the call, Mr. Gray. Gray shot. I think you better remember that. Well, here, let's go back to Big In versus Norris, shall we? Which right, was right. created by Living Corpse. This was an older match, I will admit, uh, even Living Corpse minute, but still, I quite enjoyed it when I found it. I was looking through the back catalog, looking for a matchup that we haven't done before, and I thought this would be very creative, especially with the Shanghai setting. I kind of yeah, I don't think it, I for me it wasn't really so much the Shanghai setting as it is I think I personally see Hedder as a worthy candidate to, to fight back and like yeah solo. I can I, if he's in held enough toxic sludge and since they're in China then he's pretty big oh uh-huh, right right yeah I definitely do like that sort of matchup Hedder is definitely uh you know I could see him fighting bag and surviving he, he, against the <clears throat> quote unquote traditional bag and mm knows what I mean knows what I mean. <laughs> AKA the one he hates. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, and I do, there was an interesting detail within the match itself regarding Baggin that I thought was actually really interesting, but you know, it wasn't really explored much, but it was the idea that got, that Baggin would have, like, these genetic memories of Godzilla and Ghidorah. I think that's actually really interesting, because it's like the game, the game, the original game version was sort of kind of like, oh, Baggins has been infused with Godzilla and King Ghidorah cells to become this super monster. And yeah, I think... yeah, well, the original game version is probably like a thousand times weaker than the one we have. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to dispute me, go right ahead. All I'm saying is Godzilla in his normal form can still beat Baggins, even though it's a bit yes. of a challenge. Yes. Don't yes. even. Yes, you could. Uh, I, 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 I just I, got that. I, don't even. I, I hate what people have done with Vegan. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm fine with making Vegan like a super monster, like he actually is. Oh. I'm not fine with him literally being able to take on. Like right, I, I thought right. it was. I, I agree. Like, the, the whole, whole bag and being able to take on army thing. It's like yeah, maybe no, that'll be no. fun on the offside, but honestly, it's just kind of worn. And I think there is some actually really interesting routes to take with Baggin. I can't say the same for Monster X, but. <laughs> Even your face of Monster X is waning, Kaiju X. <laughs> yeah, because it's like, did you know Baggin was actually once a protector of small creatures? I, I do, actually. I like, the, the one bad yes! match I have. Yeah, you, you can write a match with Baggin where he protects the ponies. Yeah. I actually I actually wrote a Baggin match where I do incorporate the fact Baggin is still the, uh, the, the protector of the forest. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't give a crap. 
stop about anything else, but he's like, okay, you 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 mess with my territory, you mess with the, you mess with the trees, it's on, man. Yeah, yeah. There was I actually make... a match uh, shippers did a long time ago that I know I sent over to Gray Shot, but I'm not sure if I, I'm not not sure if he's picked up on it yet. It's actually uh, possibly sequel. not. I I mean I, I I have a lot in the back catalog, right, so right. it's probably there. It's actually a sequel to one of my matches. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just had an idea where it, would, it could actually combine Kaiju with Pokemon. Kaiju Mon. And, and pretty much Bagan could be a legendary. Bagan. Anybody who wants to write that match, impress me. <laughs> Go, Bagan! No, 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 no. So what's going to happen is fucking um, uh, Mickey from the movies is going gonna, is gonna to use her starter Pokemon Jr. <laughs> Yes. At some point, Junior's gonna evolve into Godzilla. <laughs> I thought, I thought Mickey is going to use her Mega Stone to have Godzilla Mega evolve into, into Super Godzilla. <laughs> oh, can, can, we, can we use Super Godzilla? <laughs> no. Uh, as of right I, now, no. Can I use him in my? Can I use him in my amazing send off match? Because uh... what I can just see it happening now is. Hey, say Godzilla goes into a burning Godzilla, and then Junior turns into an adult Godzilla, who then becomes Super Godzilla. I'm gonna argue with it. That's not how that works. But shut up, Matt. Of... Go back to Kaiser Ghidorah. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if I could. So, it, don't don't. Isn't the process of making Super Godzilla like they need to infuse him with special energy or something like that? Yeah, yeah. I think it kind of requires like special energy combines. in Ghidorah cells. Yeah, and I'm sure I can like find some of them just lying around and pumping them. How <laughs> oh, they even butter? Just eat it. Eat Ghidorah's flesh. That's burning Godzilla in strength, and Gray shall just be there like Super Godzilla. Where are we gonna get the stuff to make Super Godzilla? I'm just sighing at the moment. I'm just sighing secretly <laughs> to myself. No, 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 no. See what's gonna happen is Heisei Ghidorah is gonna literally bone Junior to give him the DNA. That's a disgusting plot. Oh, oh gosh! Hey, 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 hey! hey. <laughs> is the three-headed monster. I, hey, hey, I, have, I haven't said this in a while, but no. And all we need is Ghidorah's genetic material. We do, it doesn't specify from where they got it. it could be a Dorat. Dorat. <laughs> they feed Junior a Dorat. Junior, eat a Dorat. You're not you and Junior. <laughs> eat a Dorat. They will give you special energy. They will become Super Godzilla. <laughs> That's like, how it works, right? I, I like this idea. Thank you. Thank you, Gray Shot. Uh, I like I, 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 I. <laughs> I went broke. He's dying. He's dying. Yes. What? what? We're literally at the, at the first KWC talk of the day, and literally, I'm just like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> Not even better. Not even better. Godzilla Thoris is the one turned to Super Godzilla, because he <laughs> eats the Dorats on the island. Uh, it gets infused with the powers of the nuclear bomb, and all of a sudden, it's Super Godzilla. I, I need to also ask a question, is, um, because I, I know I can use a bunch of Zillas because of the whole baby thing, but can I, can I, like, have like a bunch, like a herd of Godzilla sources appear, like smaller ones. Mm. Technically, you could. I think there's a like, like they all, just, they all just start running from like the Godzilla war, and like a bunch of them just start scooping up like handfuls of Godzilla sources and just throwing them at each other. Technically, you could because Godzilla, we we know that Godzilla source is the only thing, right? We we can confirm all this because there has to be more than one. Well, right, and I believe a uh, Godzilla Ju or as baby Godzilla was actually a Godzilla Sor. Like I remember reading up on the Kaiju Guide for Go the PS4 Godzilla game, and it did say that the inspiration for baby Godzilla was not a baby version of the Heisei Godzilla, but rather a Godzilla Sor's pup. So, so that do we ever figure out? Do we ever figure out how exactly Junior got laid? <laughs> Very tight. <laughs> because, because I'm just because I'm either imagining a the egg just popped up, or Godzilla is secretly asexual and we never realized that. <laughs> he reproduces by summoning an egg. 
G98 was hinting Forget towards this the whole point. time. So, so I'm gonna... No, 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 no. It's right. No, 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 no. Why? It's why, why? Why was Rodan there? Was God Rodan the bomb? I'm just gonna have this match. Where, like Godzilla just closes his eyes and everyone's like looking at him. What are you doing? The next thing you know, Godzilla exits, falls from the sky, and lands on someone's head. <laughs> I'd like to come in and remind everyone that I hate everyone here equally. <laughs> Thank you and have a wonderful day. What did I do? <laughs> you're, 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 you're guilty by association. <laughs> I can accept that. Did you leave? No, you didn't. Good. Great shot. Okay, there he is. I would also like to point out because of G14, a herd of Godzilla. We can have more than technically, if you want, we can have more than one G14, right? Um. Because they did say if you if you go on the technicality. This match is going to already involve a bunch of screwy time travel stuff, so... I mean, let's think about it this way. Godzilla was the ancient part of the Mudos, right? Um, we can assume there were more than two Mudos. Right? Because they, 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 they go on about how he's the predator of them, correct? Well, I thought the Mudos were the predator of Godzilla. Okay, well, either way, one of them is the predator, one of them is the prey. If Godzilla is the prey, when did... Godzilla is, is the prey, correct? No, Godzilla's the predator to the Mudo. Okay, the predator to the prey. And we can assume that we know for a fact though we know for the Mudos aren't the only two Mudos, right? That those are the last surviving two. We're considering the female had a belly full of glowy baby things. So logically speaking, wouldn't that mean there'd be another G fourteen somewhere? In the past? I mean, there's there's no denying that that's a very real possibility. There but go, honestly, man. this is w taking this seriously for a moment. I'd rather wait until you know there is some kind of confirmation, like oh, there will be another Godzilla, or that we see footage like from way back when. Like, I'm not necessarily like oh, S Monarch recorded from 250 million years ago. Oh no, 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 not that. But like, you know, like a fla Monarch, Godzilla's I'm flashback traveled. to an older time. Sort of thing. I'm, no, no, no. no. Mark, did they time travel? They time traveled using the spaceship Leo. <laughs> the the nuke that they actually used to kill that first Godzilla that we saw in the flashback actually did kill him. There just happened to be another one. G14 <laughs> <laughs> didn't tank the nuke. <laughs> not until not they introduced Kiyu. <laughs> <laughs> has no head left. Wait, 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 MM, you forgot one, you forgot, you forgot, um, uh, you forgot one more Godzilla for your Godzilla extravaganza. Make Minya a grown up! Uh, I, I was, <laughs> oh gosh, I, every time. I, I want to get, I want to have Minya actually appear as a cameo in that, and one Minya's of the things is, Minya's I, told a referee. You, I told you the whole, the whole fight's gonna take place within this whole, yeah, 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 like, Minya's like, the referee! It's got, like it's going to take place in this universe controlling like battle arena that's kind of inspired by Inferno Rodan's old universe. No, no, M M M M M M. Grayshot got guilty because someone because he couldn't put Minya in the full roster because because the um, midget division was shit back then. <laughs> so um, he made Minya a ref. Well, what I was actually going to do is I, I was thinking of having. At, at this whole like thing like breaks out and everyone's like panicking because nobody knows what's going on and all the Godzillas are starting to fight. I was gonna have Space Godzilla like randomly just pop back into the match and he's like holding. Remember how like Godzilla saved the Earth and everything? How he could hold buildings with telekinesis? Yeah. But he was gonna hold a giant the, the egg from his own son of Godzilla, and he was gonna throw it at one of the Godzillas and he's gonna like bust open on their head and there's like Minya is just like flipping okay. out. So who is doing the who is doing the lucha moves? Who is doing like the six fifty springboard off the top rope here? Godzilla. <laughs> Luchazilla. It's just they just have Zilla and a lucha mask. <laughs> so, I, 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 I do need to make sure I can. Once again, I do want to make sure I can have Junior turn into an adult Godzilla, though, right? Yeah, I'll confirm that this is a possibility. We can't okay. have it during a. Usually, it's not supposed to be during a match, though. Right. Right. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, it's it's gonna be. Well. Okay. Is it? Wait, am I allowed to do that or not? I don't think. I don't think. Uh, I'll, 
Or like Kara's point. At, 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 I'd like it to be like a... Again, he didn't fight in that. It was more he became at the end, so I'd prefer it to be an end thing than a beginning thing. <laughs> right. Because well, I was going to have like I was gonna have like all the Godzilla's just like launch all their breath weapons at him and he's like oh radiation nom 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 and then there's there's another face hey godzilla possible oh. also no 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 uh junior become full grown become burning become you know the cycle once again <laughs> <laughs> yeah no 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 Grisha, you know you know you know no 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 Grisha, I mean, you know you should have you should you should have cure you regenerate into the original 1954 godzilla Oh, uh, I actually already planned that. Where Kiyu <laughs> Ki- is going to end up going berserk and acting like the OG Godzilla. Um, also, I do need to know you, that uh, I, I can I can use fake Godzilla, right? Yeah, you could use fake Godzilla for sure. Okay, Godzilla. and fake Godzilla and fake Godzilla is technically a mecha Godzilla who's being remotely controlled. Right. So I can have fake Godzilla yes. like so I can have fake Godzilla act like Showa Godzilla. Yeah, pretty much like fizz- yeah. like yeah. as long as you um, here's the here's the note though I should make. I'm not gonna put in the KWC like titles, you know, I'm not gonna have like uh fake Godzilla and show a me- show it's just gonna be like together or that's the same thing with like if you were to use any other monster. If you use one, it's one. Yeah, yeah. I, I I understand that's good and everything, but I can use multiple show and mecha Godzillas though, right? Ye- so, yes, that is a lot. So I so so I can have a good fake Godzilla fighting a bunch of Showa mecha Godzillas. Yes. On the counterpoint, though, I should make note, if you you really can't do Junior powering up in this match because it would make no effing sense to who wins. It would make no effing sense whatsoever. Well, I already, I already know. Like, I, I'm not going to do I won't say this out oh, loud. Uh, but but here's uh, here's how I have the ending. Shadow, would you move and get off my lap? Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Okay. Uh, Matt, I'm just going to type it out here. By the way, Grisha, before you object to saying Godzilla can't regenerate from Cure You, it already happened. It's so tough. Well, I think I, that, uh, if you're referring to match, what was it, 121, I think? Yeah, I am. Yeah, I think that might have been the special exception thing, because I remember that was really? also a very controversial match. And again, we weren't really involved with that one. That's something you'd have to take up with Titan- Goji. So... <laughs> It's still, I, I, I say we, I say it still counts because we, cause I say it still counts unless it's said, unless it's said otherwise. Mm-hmm. Like I'm pretty sure, like that, that, that's a, that's a legit ending right there. That, that's a great send off. I have no idea how he would live guys, that, guys. but I think that could be. It's like, it's like, it's like the birth of the phoenix. I just want to confirm. I just want to confirm. He said this openly in the. He said this openly, right? Like he I, I, yeah, I, I did it earlier, but I'm I'm hoping nobody remembers. And okay. Like, well, it's also like, it's also going to be earlier in the video, so there's a very good chance that they might hear it. So I might I, act. I might cut okay, it out. Okay. I don't know. So so like all all two people who end up watching this video, you will forget that before this match is posted. Yes. <laughs> All two and a half men. <laughs> yeah. So, anyway, to actually get back to a KWC thing here, at least just regarding match oh, 167. Oh, yeah, the KWC! Yeah. What's, that? What's the KWC? Yeah, remember those matches? I yeah, actually, remember those matches? I actually, I actually read 167 on the bus of, of when it was posted. Oh, that's cool. Uh-huh. I, I, was just, I, was just, I was just taking the bus to college, and I was on my phone, like, oh, I might as well check in and see the Nintendo. Oh, look, an actual match. Great, I'm not bored anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then you saw right. the author, it was like, oh, boy, oh, is this? okay, here we go. Then it's like, oh, that wasn't that bad. All right. It's just, okay, it's just, I, I will just... say, though, compared to the last time, the dialogue has improved greatly. Oh, uh-huh. no, no, we're talking about Grey Shots match. I thought we were talking about Hedra versus Big. No, we're, oh, no, we're, we kind of jumped off of that one because we got yeah, that. Guys, Grey Shots gave up on it. Turns <laughs> out the, yeah, it turns out the most overpowered thing about that match was the tangents in spawn. So we're going to the next one. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean, can, can I spoil the ending for MM since you haven't read it? And you probably aren't going to read it. Oh, I'm, I'm, I plan on reading it, so I'll just, I'll just close my ears. Okay. Okay, a close your ears then, man. I do think it is John Wayne in a tie of all things. Yeah, you know, I well, yeah, I kind of be... based it off of. I, Am I good? I kinda... No, sort of. No. Would you say yes? 
I did off of Frankenstein versus King Kong in that kind of sense. Yeah. Both of them walked away even though they fought. And yes, King Kong was tech- I think it was King Kong that was tech- or Frankenstein was technically the victor, but they still ended up in a tie because they you know walked away in good terms. In this case, both oh, okay. of them ended up on the same side anyway. I'm so just, it, I'm just, it, oh, I'm just okay, imagining. Okay. I guess that I'm works. Then. That I'm works. just imagining that there's a sunset and King Kong and Frankenstein shake hands and nod. It's also oh. really satisfying to see C Rex and Cyber Godzilla in another match. They have not been, uh, they have not seen some action in a while. So. No, 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 I, I think I think they're with one match apiece. I think. I was kind of surprised no one wrote a match with them together, like versing each other. I thought that was gonna be the first thing people did. Oh. Um, are, are we allowed to use uh, Shadow? Sh- sh- Shadow. My dog's this place is. Uh, are, are your, we dog, allowed- your dog even read my match. Look how excited she is. <laughs> 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 uh, are we allowed to use uh, Robo Yeti and Quetzalcoatl uh, from GTS? Um, because they have uh, toys from Trendmasters. I would- that is true, but they're two. I, uh, my note is Quetzalcoatl is basically Firodan. And uh, the Yeti is basically Mechani Kong, and I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to create duplicates in the KWC, so I'm going to say no that, on those. that. That was my. Hey, 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 who, who else had? To- who, who else had toys? Hey. Gray shot, gray shot, gray shot. It's finally confirmed. Your matches get all the bitches. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I see what my you dog. did there. I'm honored? Question mark. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> You and I, 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 I really hope you get it, Grace. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be disappointed if you don't get it. Do I have to point it out? I, you, uh, oh, no, I get it. I, I completely get it. But I'm just really like, hope okay. so. Oh yeah, I get, I get it. I get it. But in any case, yes, 167, which features. Also, I should note, like, I think it's the first match to feature a non-heat member as the star role in mm-hmm. the GTS series. Yep, that that was also ref- refreshing. Somehow, like stories with bad guys are always more refreshing to me. So. Oh yeah, and actually, and I get, I should note this was a uh, like uh, Emma made note of it. It was a cameo of Ebro versus C Rex, which had actually the same guy. Uh, at least I tried oh. to make him as some. He really didn't talk too much in that one, so I tried to. Oh make him... okay, okay, right, right. Oh. There's also Ebro's. There's also Ebra's actual cameo being dead. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and and C Rex trying to kill Ebra in the same way, uh, or C uh, trying mean, to kill Cyber Godzilla the same way. He did this uh, to Ebra. Turns out, Ebra, it turns out even while dead, Ebra still sucks. <laughs> exactly. I didn't make a joke about that. It's like, I'm so, I, my apologies. I owned an Ebra once. <laughs> it's, like, it's, like, it's, like, it's, like, it's like the naughty, it's like, it's like the really awful pet everyone had at one point. <laughs> like, like Geigen or Monster Axe. It's like, oh, you had a, a Geigen too? Yeah, I know how that goes, man. Ooh. Or... Megalon, it's like poor guy. Megalon, I would say Me- I would say Megalon. I would say Megalon is more uh, as a little. I would say Megalon's a bit more useful than Gigan. Mm, yeah, true. I would argue oh, that. I thought we were talking about win, uh, win loss ratios. Oh. In that case, only Zootopia is like. In that case, only Zootopia. In that case, I just imagine eventually Zootopia is like. Why do you keep losing? I'm <laughs> Baragon. Mean, I actually ask a question. Can Megalon actually t- interact with the Cetopians? I don't imagine why not. I mean, technically speaking, he is supposed to be their god. Mm-hmm. And but we understand Megalon is biological, correct? Yeah, he's like, 100% biological, somehow. He just has drills that make absolutely no biological sense. Yeah, I know. <laughs> now, now I'm just drills diagonally I'm, straight up. <laughs> Now I'm just imagining like there's a festival going on and Megalon's like crunched really low, like kind of just saying hello to the kids. He's all dressed in, like Megalon out, but it's like Megalon, Megalon. He's like hello, kid. Huh. Megalon, like, Megalon. I mean, I mean, he technically, 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 he is their god. It would make sense if he was like hello. I mean, he would just kind of stand proudly, like posing, like hello, yes, I am the god, have- Megalon. Did- does anyone else just imagine C. Topia as like a dodgeball? Is like the like at the dodgeball game, and they're like, and everyone's choosing all the gods, and like we'll take Jesus, we'll take you know Allah, and all this stuff. And then C. Topia is the last one, just Megalon standing there, just like, okay, you can come with us. Uh. <laughs> We're like the giant guess, beetle monster. Exactly. Well, they, they, they looked out better better than Moo with man. Exactly. Yeah, Moose got mad on the dodgeball team. He's yeah. gonna get. Mad. No, 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 no. The 
the Izumi royal family have King Caesar. He's the best kicker. <laughs> yeah, he immediately has narcolepsy and falls asleep. Hey, 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 the Pharaoh <laughs> Islands. Hey, the, hey, 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 the Pharaoh Islands are called. He would consider him a god, right? Yeah, yeah Kong's considered a god. <laughs> Of course. What about what about what about, what about the actual god? Like, what's the Kusagami? Do they not? Are they? Oh, do they not count? He's the principal. Uh, speaking of Kum- Veron, wow. Kumasagami is the highest. Kumasagami <laughs> is the delinquent bully. Veron jumped out the window. <laughs> <laughs> He's only there for cameos. Remember? Oh yeah. <laughs> He's homeschooled. <laughs> if oh, you want a really technical Godzilla, Godzilla could be there. He is technically worshipped as a god too. Odo well, Island, yeah. Odo Island, yeah. Odo Four was, yeah. I like to talk Kingdom. Is it really? <laughs> he needs to wear glasses. <laughs> massive derps. Hey, guys. Actually, <laughs> he got Zilla. <laughs> hey, speaking of, when, when are another one of my matches going up, though, by the way? When you get unbanned. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that right now. I'm sorry. That was incredibly rude of me. Especially with my recent behavior. <laughs> okay, then. Well, getting back onto topic. So, yes, this match, if you haven't been able to guess, featured Cameron Winter, basically. Uh, and it was after the events of 164, dealing with Cyber Godzilla and C-Rex. Overall, uh, this was one of my favorite matches because it really brought, like, Cameron. Uh, uh, I just zoned out. Continuing. <laughs> yeah, you know. Yeah, exactly. I just zoned all you out to get back on topic. You know, you're welcome. <laughs> Okay, I'll see. I do like I do like the I do like the amount of smarmy asshole Cameron though. Yeah, exa- exactly, exactly, and that that was my whole goal. Just make him seem like again he's always he's like again he's never not in control of the situation. I always like like even even with like a gun pointed to his face, he never loses his cool, which is something in the series he very rarely ever did. Even when faced with like Zilla, he barely he rarely lost his cool when the face of that. Well, except when you know. I think the lizard I, 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 I remember I remember the Red Bamboo guys like it's like I never said I'd let you leave and then Cameron goes funny. I never said the same thing either. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> exactly. That was great. Yeah. But uh-huh. Uh-huh. I definitely uh-huh. do like uh probably a bit of spoilers regarding this match, so I hope no one minds, but I do like the usage of the cyberflies at the Ooh, very yeah. end. That that was oh, a yeah, nice Terry- touch. Yeah, tearing apart all the P. Yeah, that was. Uh, I, I uh, thought that'd be a nice little way to prove like Cameron's back, and he's not not in any. Uh, he's not in a nice like businessman folk. He's just ripping apart basically anyone that gets in his way. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But can we use the cyberflies in the match because they also have a toy if I remember right. Uh, not as the monster. I mean, you right. can use not them. As, I mean, that's not right. as like actual monsters, but, like, but you can them totally as, use them as plot devices. Yeah, well, yeah, by all means. Like, you know, maybe like the Cyberflies versus Mega Gears and the Mega Nula. Yeah, exactly. I, Cyber- think, oh. I think MM Wait, is referring what? to okay, Cyberflies to make them their own kaiju. Oh, God, yeah. no. Yeah, like, no. Will you, will you fight them as like a swarm? No. You can fight them in the match. Like, if you had, let's say, Cyber, or I guess, um, I guess C-Rex you could have under Cameron's control, or Zilla. And you had a swarm of cyber flies with them. I mean, that can be go on set, like H Man right. or Gotango or something. Right, but the main right. note is no, they're not their own monster. So Cyberfly cannot win the game. Speaking of H Man, is he actually the result? Is he actually the no. result of Degora? No. 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 Yeah. I, I thought that was really weird. That, that was just that Tom was, being. Yeah, pretty what much Tom being Tom. So. So yeah, it's like, I mean, I looking, was... looking looking at the age man, it does kind of make sense because uh-huh, they right, share right. similar. You could kind of see the lo- the logic in his thinking. Like the do- the two are so I have that weird. Oh, how do you put it? I guess like slimy effect, not slimy, but uh, bio biomass. Yeah, kind of a biomass effect let's, let's, thing. Let's going. just call it for that for now. Space jelly. Right. Yeah. Pretty much, you're kind of like space jelly. And also, speaking of, regarding the Megalon thing, like, him acknowledging of the humans, it's actually interesting, I find this interesting to note, because one of his antennae, according to, like, one of the cutaway views, is actually sensitive enough to detect human footsteps from deep underground. 
So yeah. you know. <laughs> that must be extremely annoying for something his size. I know. So it'd be like excuse. Man, he must be and... real tolerant. <laughs> no, well. Now, well, now, now I'm actually thinking of a match where it's actually the you know Zootopia's annual festival for Megalon because you have to have a festival for your god, and some like bear burrowing cut interrupts and everyone's really pissed. <laughs> like they're not mad, like they're not scared that like, now the cut just burst in. They're mad because they interrupted the great Megalon ceremony. How dare they? Show the blasphemer to the door, g- dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Megalon's like, Megalon's like, get out of my house! <laughs> get out of my lawn! Yeah, pretty much, pretty much. Uh, but, yeah, anyway, um... So but otherwise, we... Oh, I was gonna, I was gonna say, does anyone have any other comments? Or we could move on to the animated, if you guys like, which I, again, something very excited about. It was really short. Yeah, you know, the animated, I mean, it's like, I had no problem. It was nice, satisfying. I mean, I'm, I'm, not, really I'm, 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 not, I'm not expecting, like, an hour-long blockbuster here, but, you know. Right, right. Yeah, sure. it, yeah I think, I think the, uh, like, the guy who made the video did have some comments regarding that. And it was, like, it was supposed to be a larger match, but uh, something went kind of awry. So I think this was kind of made quickly in its place, I think. So. No, this one, this one is, this one has been up for some time. It actually was a backup. I wanted, oh, okay. um, I wanted to post the, the original, the, the KWC animated was supposed to come out in January, but I kept getting delayed because of he kept going to perfect it. So I kept holding off on releasing this one, which released I think last in May or April or something. I maybe it was in the summer, sometime. Any case, uh, this one was a shorter match, and I figured I'd put it up. Uh, but no, otherwise, I it's still well done. It's yeah, it, even though it is shorter, which is understandable considering the monsters. I thought it, the, you know, the entire battle was nothing compared, like again, compared to like a, a small KWC bat match. Mm-hmm. It right, was right. really brutal. I actually really like, I actually really like, and I kind of wish more actual pros match is more. I'm, I'm curious just to stabbing Gamora in the throat. Oh, yeah, I know that brutal. was brutal. Holy I, moly. I really wish that you. I really wish that actually used the drill more because that is a very good move. Oh, is this yes, supposed to be definitely. a drill? It's a drill. Oh yeah, it was the drill. Okay, I was about to say, can you have a drill? Yeah, he, he has, has a, a long, long drill. Stuff. Yeah, yeah. He has, yeah, he yeah, turns his hand into it. Megalon's like, hey, <laughs> <laughs> hey, can you put your half so drill together? Just imagine you just like jamming it and someone's so just spinning it. Oh, fatality. Fatality. What did you shadow? Fatality. Go, go <laughs> down. Go down. No. I don't wanna. <laughs> Never. You can't tell me what to do, Mom. So, yeah, that was... Uh, yeah, yeah, the animated... Like, it's short, it's quick, it's brutal, it's fun. I wish it could have been just a touch longer, but honestly, it's also very satisfying by itself, so... So yeah, I'm happy with what we got, <laughs> and it's cool to see another animated, uh, kind of like in the, uh, just another animated, continually, uh, continuously expanding through that section. Speaking it's of nice which, though, Kiryu. yes, and it's nice to see, it's I, nice to see Mark Jupiter you win for a change. Yes, and I should note we do have a uh, new person actually animating. I can't, I'm not going to say who, but we do have someone new animating and. Well, I can't. It's probably not going to be anytime soon. You probably expect it in probably. I would say summer, if not, uh, probably late summer. But we do have some, someone new also animating. So again, the whole purpose was this section was to slowly implement it over time, uh, at like other systems of the KWC. One, and I one, think that one animated match a season it looks like. Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it takes a lot of work to animate. Oh, right, right. It's yeah, a lot that, of work to but it's just going to, like, make, like, you know, I'm going to have to duct tape some strings to my band I want to swing up against each other. <laughs> I'm, and, like, I'm just going to get my two guns, little dolls, and just, just, just not even move my hands away. Rawr, 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 rawr. <sighs> so just, just, like, just chuck it to the side. <laughs> Throw it against the wall. Yeah. <laughs> 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 smack it against the counter. 
crap, the arm broke off, but it can't type the cellar and tell the tongue. The arm breaks off. Oh, no. Godzilla's arm fell off. He regenerated it. Oh, look, it's Mega Godzilla. <laughs> I think I think Graveshot just zoned out again. Oh, I'm here. He's all I just always turn off my mic. Turn... You said it's not. I just always. You said it's here. I just turn off. For this. I, this I, just tur... I always just turn off my mic. That way you don't hear any static on my end if I'm done talking. I like I like when you sigh though. <laughs> don't worry. I leave the sighs in the video. Uh, I, don't, I don't listen to them though. I get depressed and have my this voice is how, this, is how, this is how M.M. sleeps at night. He's listening to Gershot's sighs on repeat. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. That's like... <laughs> that was... God dang it. God dang it. Deep busted. Yeah, let, we're doing none of that. We're doing none oh, of that. Uh, yeah, so my Gershot, can we... Uh, so Gershot, am I allowed that Megalon actually interact with Cetopia? You know, uh, can't argue with it because it kind of makes sense because he is their god. I mean, I'm actually just imagine like the I'm actually just imagine going the whole Jesus thing god, and Mega actually helping them build, like drilling you know new land plots for them. Yeah, I'm just imagining him just screwing up with cool. as long. Well, I mean, as long as yeah, I mean, as long as Mega Lon doesn't pull out a whole bunch of fish and start walking on water. I mean, I mean, I mean, aside from the, I mean, aside from the, I mean, aside from the fact, <laughs> like, you, I mean, aside from the fact he lives underground, it would, it would have a little more practical use for him to actually use them for more, you know, commercial use, I guess. It's like, hey, would you mind drilling us a new hole for us? Sure, <laughs> done. I'm going back to bed. Uh, it's kind of weird for that. To, I don't really see Megalon being the type of god that would be proactive and help the community. I kind of see him being like the lazy arse who just kind of sits back. Rel pretty much sits back and relaxes. And the only time he'll ever listen to their pleas if it's like, you know, oh, he surface humans are being arses. Take care of them. It's like, okay. It's like, hey, it's like, hey you can beat something up. Deal. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. I don't know, that's it's just basically after he gets like an, enough hate mail, he's just like, "Fine, I'll go do it." So he's basically the United States uh, Congress like, of uh, Utopia. He's like, "Where's my berry juice?" <laughs> Dang it, I have to go to Pharaoh for that. Oh, well. <laughs> he's getting Skype messages because he's got the sign out at night. <laughs> 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 it's the Utopia again. The whole God and Follower thing, it's actually kind of the, it's actually the motivation I have for Kumasagami in the match I wrote with him. Mm -hmm. Speaking of Kumasogami, when am I going to see Kumasogami versus Mechagodzilla posted? Because I'm waiting to see that. I'm curious what reaction is going to be. You mean, wait, Mechagodzilla cure you or Mechagodzilla pest? Yeah. Oh, yes. Showa. I think it, it takes place. It takes place in hell. Yeah. For the most part. Um, I don't think I've looked over that one yet. I've kind of been doing a lot of prep oh, for oh, something oh, upcoming. Dude, stop, stop dragging your feet. <laughs> hey, hey, listen, listen. Here's the note. There's something. There's something upcoming that only certain that I can only say that um, I can only look at certain matches for what's upcoming. So mm -hmm. it's nothing personal. It's just as of right now. Um, the Will next you... two. The next two matches, I should note, one of them, uh, Andrew can confirm, has been for a while. Yep. The other one, uh, the other one's, I think, a bit more recent. Um, and then, what's it? And then we're going to have 170, so, you know. Right. Then after that, it's, all I could say is that it gets kind of crazy. So, yeah. Believe me, there's something we have planned, and understandably, Grayshot has to organize this stuff in a fashion where it's like, oh, we need to make sure that there's enough sort of variety and not showing the same thing over and over. Exactly. But I can assure you, MM, your matches are by far one of the easiest to edit. So let me just say this. If you don't see your matches now, it's because I'm saving it for a time which I want to be effing lazy and I just want to have just post up the easy stuff. That's why... He wants think... to make you suffer. <laughs> <laughs> be, la be lazy. Sure, that too. <laughs> Take that as a compliment. <laughs>
I'm gonna oh, start. I'm gonna start, start. Like, we can start writing my stuff really bad and sloppy just for gray shot. <laughs> like, yeah, this, this, this are gonna post. This are gonna post. have me here. Okay? Uh, oh, I would. Yeah, let me, let me, let me, let me, that's all 2014 as like a wrestling machine. Oh, jeez. <laughs> like, don't get posted. No, 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 no. MM's going to be in Godzilla's going to be in Paul Heyman. My name is Monster Master, and I am the manager of the beast, Godzilla. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Fuck! Space Godzilla! It's gonna, it's gonna cosmically suplex. Take you to cosmic suplex, did he, bitch? <laughs> of course, and it's gonna be <laughs> to the face. Just, 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 just pick, just pick up someone and suplex them. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Oh, well, in any case, yeah, so, again, as a note, those were the basically the three this, and uh, the rest, the next one should be up in, like, the next few days. Uh, that one, uh, Andrew's known about. The next one I had to do a switch because something came up. So it's not going to be, uh, Andrew, the next one's not going to be what you think it is, but it is going to be, that one is still on the way. Okay. Um, I don't. I don't ever. La- I don't ever recall you telling me what sixty-eight or sixty-nine were. Well, one sixty-eight, one sixty-nine. It's, I mean, again, it's, don't it's say it here. That's a surprise, but I'm just saying. exactly seventy. What introduced you here? Uh, I can definitively say maybe. Okay. <laughs> actually, speaking. Actually, on the subject, on, on back on the subject of Kumasagami. May I ask Grish, uh, me, may I ask, can we have um, uh, the Infant Island Mothra worshippers be there on Infant Island and stuff? Yeah, that's perfect. I was, the of Kumasagami, I was thinking of Kumasagami versus Mothra, and they're like the, tri- like the tribes that worship them are also at war. Because, I mean, is that really okay, good? So can, it's like a... So- so like it's pretty much monster game. Okay. Yeah, like, 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 like Infant Island like split down into one half worships Kumasagami, the other half worships Mothra. Weird. And then a bunch of them are like, hey, hey, they're like, hey, go beat up the other guys to prove you're better. Weird. You think that <laughs> happened more with Mothra and Batra, but whatever. I mean, to well, be fair. Yeah, it... well, I mean, well, I mean, I mean, don't get me wrong. You already. Yeah, Shippers, you already wrote a Mothra versus Batra match with a rather interesting yeah, plot element, that. so... I, yeah, I already did that. And I, yeah, I already wrote Mothra versus Batra, and I made it pretty damn good if I had one player on myself. Hmm. Right, so it's like... Yeah, I mean, I suppose you could use Kumasogami for variety's sake, so... Well, I'm trying to think... I'm trying to, cause I'm, I'm trying to think of any other, like, deities that would actually be worshipped. Uh, let's see from the list we have... We have Manda, uh, and, I know, and I don't know, we have Manda, Megalon, Mothra, Varen. Oh, Varen, that's right, Varen. Uh, I guess the Jaguar could be worshipped by the Elmish. Uh, <laughs> uh, wait, wait a wouldn't they be like, wouldn't that be his, like, their devil, technically? Wood, Jed, like, Jag- no, 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 of- they make a Jed Jaguar completely out of wood. <laughs> Wood Jaguar. Wood Jaguar. <laughs> Tree Jaguar. <laughs> Jet Wood. Jagwood. <laughs> Jet Jeremiah. I'm so Jet sorry. Jeremiah. <laughs> Jeremiah okay, that's Jaguar. Good. That's great. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, well, Orochi can be worshipped. Yeah, Orochi could be. Yeah, he. Yeah, he would cl- qualify. Yeah, he would qualify. Uh, I don't know if the Utsu Ikusagami, but I'm not sure if he actually qualifies, because I don't think people worship him. I don't know, I have, uh, in Mechagodzilla vs. Kamasogami, I have, uh, devil worshippers that worship, anyway, I think I do, they worship Kamasogami and accidentally unleash him. Uh, I think I remember it starts that. raining blood, and then other stuff happened. I want to say Batcha would have followers, but I'm not 100% sure. I mean, he does in the IDW comics. Right, right. Yeah, he has, a, yeah, he has a two I Russian twins, right? Servants. Uh, doesn't he have a... Does, didn't he, did he become actually his own Shobajin? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Like psychic well, he had those like, evil girls. Whatever. Right, right, like psychic French twins. I think they're Russian, actually. Uh, I believe they're French. 
Really? They're French? Okay. I thought they were Russian. Yep, yeah. they're French. Oui, oui. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I'm going to go source for some uh, Bachelor in France, because Bachelor was just kind of laid laser on the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> Are you, could we actually... Gore, I could what see someone taking, uh, taking Gorosaurus and turning him almost into a uh, into a warship type thing, like Primal Rage style. If, well, you, I mean, uh, argue, I, I think the thing is, argue, argue for you a, could if it's on Faroe Island. Oh, right. I oh, think God, don't worry, guys, I have my arguments. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, I mean, that, 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 that's the all, that, that's that's the all one that's stretch for you. <laughs> that's the all-encompassing, go ahead and do it, I don't care. I think it, I no, think it's the, just the fact that uh, probably Andrew's saying he doesn't have. Oh, sorry, Andrew, uh, you continue. What I'm trying to say is that I guess it depends on who's worshiping who. Since I think the general consensus is like, you know, oh, the magnificent creature, the unknown, we don't know what it is, so we're going to worship it as a god. It's like, I know that's a very vague sort of way of saying that everyone's technically a god, tec- at least to old primitive people. At least. Yeah, well. But well, that'd it, be taking a page out of that one uh, Godzilla Cataclysm comic. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Yeah. The Cataclysm, where the monsters are hailed as, like, gods after the world was destroyed. Exactly. And I have, I have no problem with that, if it's, like, Indian or Cataclysmic or something like that. I think even Andrew makes note of that uh, in, a, in a match he submitted uh, oh, yeah, involving... Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, like, you make note of that. So, um, I'm perfectly fine with that. It's just with a point of, oh, yes, the greats, you know, they just, like, in modern day, the worshippers of Gorosaurus, it's like, okay, come on, we gotta take a step back here. It's a giant T-Rex. Yeah, <laughs> I, 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 I can see, I can see, like, in the, like when like when the tribe of her were just starting out, there was kind of like, oh, look at King Kong, yeah, we're looking at Gorosaurus, oh, oh, oh. And uh, the one guy's like, hey, guys, like a giant octopus. Who cares, Jerry? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you know what would be a really interesting develop- – speaking of giant octopus, which I couldn't help but think of Gazora, despite the fact that he's a cuttlefish, but whatever. Actually, you know what would be a really <laughs> interesting – like, I think this is more along the lines of just being lenient, but Gazora oh, the- being – giant octopus. Right. Gazora being a I'm gonna put this in quotes here, good guy. Sort of kinda like sort of kinda like how he is in yeah. the rules of Earth. I would say I would say uh, Gazora's one of the more neutral cards. You can just kinda right, right, right. way. Yeah, that's why I say that's why I put good guy in quotes, because it'd be like it'd be no different than say Hey Sigador or Anguirus, where they're more yeah. like giant animals. They're a bit more in the neutral category. But I believe that it, the Going off of the film, I'm just going off the film here that's like, oh, you know, they were mutated by the amoeba or Yogg, which is supposedly sort of sinister, kind of, but it could be kind of cool if we had a Yogg Gazora that helped one of the neutral monsters out in defending, uh, in fighting a bad guy. Because it's mean, like, hey, he's his own. The Yogg's its own entity. Entity. Yeah, so, I mean, uh, I assume there's not just one Yogg out there. Right, right. Well, actually, you could also say that if he defeated the stronger foe, then the y'all could infect him and get a more powerful monster to, you know. So, yeah, it would well, be, be an it's, interesting it's story. Yogg infect, Yogg infect, Yogg infect monsters. Oh, Yogg can you is imagine? Magic. Like, what, what if the space media infected a Godzilla and mutated oh. the Godzilla? No, Yogg and fuck yo 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 uh, Gazora versus Godzilla Soros. Godzilla Soros wins, and Yogg infects God, Godzilla Soros. Godzilla appears. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, but no, uh, the major note I'd have is you also he only I mean yes we never seen the film, but I, I at least from my interpretation it, it's still like an amoeba, and I'm pretty sure radiation is bad for any type of amoeba, so right. since I, I'm pretty I'm pretty sure X rays kill bacteria. I mean, am I wrong, or... or I mean, I, like, heavy amounts I, of radiation kills. Right, right. No, I, I'm, I, I'm I talking don't, about the don't think... infected Godzilla forest and turns that into Godzilla, not the bomb does it. Uh-oh. Oh, weird. Oh, hmm. That's weird. Right. Yeah, I think, yeah, I don't remember the amoeba ever being like, oh, it's like a radioactive thingy-majig. So it's like well, maybe radiation... Well, I'm not saying it's radioactive, because, but... I mean, 
Because Zora wants to know what cuttlefish, then you know that it got mutated, right? Yeah, it was mutated by Yogg. So, a Yogg mutated Godzilla Saurus would just be a non radioactive Godzilla. It's the properties of Yogg are a little weird. Like when maybe, it possesses... it's G4, maybe it's a G fourteen. I don't know. Oh right, right. But uh, yeah, the thing the thing is with Yogg is that there is a point where you know he takes control of you know the squ a squid, two stone crabs, and a turtle throughout the duration of the film, all which mutate into you know Gizorganimus and Camebus. But w there is a point where Yogg does take possession of a human. But for whatever reason, he the mu human never mutates for some strange reason. Like it, it's always the well, same he, size. Yes. He, I, assume the, I, I assume the biology. I assume it's because of the biology. Like a cuttlefish and a human are exactly on the same biological scale, you know. Mm, right, yeah, I right. think the I think the guy's eyebrow did get all weird and evil looking. Oh, right, I no. think there might have been. I think there <laughs> might have been several changes with him, but it's not like the guy grew. 200 feet or anything. He kind of stood well, you around can also, the same size. You can also make the argument that the other creatures didn't really... I mean, Camebus did because of the bats, but, the, I mean, the guy kind of kills himself and mm -hmm. still has kind of control. So it's almost like if he has absolute control, he can do anything he wants to, maybe to the creature, but because human gave it resistance... Maybe, it's, you know, maybe, right, maybe, 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 maybe it was because the maybe it was because the human had more sentience than a cuttlefish did. Right, right, right. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's, 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 that might, that's, that's a possibility. That is a possibility. And also, I'm saying that Godzilla Saurus would not have the same sentience as a human, because mm -hmm. all that Godzilla Saurus would know is stomp, stomp, eat, eat. Oh my God, bomb. Well, Godzilla cry, remember? <laughs> Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, Godzilla's current, Godzilla's Kai sobbing with just with tissues. Kaiju have a weird habit of being slightly more sentient than actual animals. So I've I've always thought I've always thought that one of the perks of Godzilla he's still more animal like, but he's clearly I feel I've always felt like the mutate the intense radiation actually made him more intelligent than normal. Because we do, I do consider Godzilla a thinking creature. That we can't deny that. <laughs> but his brain is only the size of a marble, Harley. I was just I mean, about to say that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Kong is a thinking animal. Okay, random American guy in King Kong versus Godzilla. <laughs> yeah. But don't have the dinosaur book. Yeah, I know. Totally <laughs> scientifically <laughs> accurate. <laughs> I, can't remember, I, I, I still got to Godzilla. I still got to Godzilla's ass brain too. I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> A T Rex banged the Stegosaurus and Godzilla was bored. You know what, you know what I wanted to do? <laughs> now? I want to have Godzilla going to Rampage because someone took Minya and Junior, you know, back when he was still able to actually be captured. And they're like, that's strange. Why it doesn't Minya doesn't have an ass brain? Why? Because you know kind of weird. <laughs> it's a genetic mutation. I guess so. <laughs> He actually, he actually only had one up. brain, and that's why he is only that size, and that's why he looks the way he does. He only had one brain. And so, yeah. <laughs> it was actually <laughs> strange as this, though. He didn't know. He didn't know the head brain. It was all in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> and that, and that is what happens. Minya is the example of what happens when a Godzilla is born without an ass brain. <laughs> <laughs> no, Minya is the example of what happens when a Godzilla is born only with an ass brain. <laughs> <laughs> Touche. <laughs> says he needs to fight my own battles. Oh, so <laughs> Can we have Minion fucking talk to the? Can we have Minion be, talk to people like, "Oh, hey, well, I'm Minion. I'm the Monster Island Tour guy. <laughs> I'm gonna mug you. <laughs> hey, only in dreams. Monster, only in dreams. I'm, I'm Godzilla's son. Oh, but you're a tour guide for today. <laughs> Minya, Minya, we're, Minya, we're, Minya, we're on like a shirt that says "Hi, I'm Minya" with a sticker on it. <laughs> a Hawaiian flannel. <laughs> hey, uh, he's wearing like shades. Well, aloha, welcome to Aviators. Go welcome to Monster Island. I'm Minya, you know. Oh gosh, Minya. I, Minya talking, as far as I'm concerned, is perfectly fine only in dreams. So it's like when it comes to dream Minya. Go crazy, you know. I, I kind of encourage that. So By the able... way, guys, quick question of the note that I may, or something I may ask. So if you guys, since we're on dreams, um, and this is something I'd ask you to see if it'd be going too far or not. 
uh, you, you would agree that it's common culture that the dead usually can speak to someone through their dreams. Like, you've heard of this before, correct? Oh, yeah. so what I if think mean I might have... Dead? I think I might have heard something like that. Like, what, 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 if, what if Ichiro was dead throughout the entire movie and Minya was trying to guide him to heaven and Gabra was like to Satan and it was like, he's mine. And was Minya that, was like, that my Godzilla, wasn't my Godzilla god? So, wait, he's dead and then what happens when he comes back to reality? He's just kind of dead? He just, he's just, See, I always just thought he was going into like, uh, you know, he was having like a stroke or something I, at those I'm gonna moments. Write a match. I'm going to write a match and dreaming is going to be like, hey, if this was the real one, that sounds like some sort of retarded donkey, you know. <sighs> I'm just going, oh, oh, <laughs> oh man. But no, I, just, I thought I would ask that because I will admit there's a match that I do have that incorporates that, and I wanted to make sure that. You guys at least heard of it because it was something I thought was common. Then I asked someone, and they're like, "What?" I was like, "Oh." If it makes yeah, sense about a gray shot, it's not a problem. I mean, there. I mean, there are actual spirits in Toho lore. Mm-hmm, definitely. Yeah, true, true. So it's like I mean, whether you want to go off of like GMK or you know just other even more obscure Toho movies, it's like yes, yeah, spirits I, 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 I thought, do I thought, exist. I thought, GMK, I thought GMK was off limits just for everything. <laughs> Pretty much. All right. <laughs> I mean, uh, well, based on what I understand, just, 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 just GMK is just off limits permanently. All right. <laughs> I mean, well, well, we, well, kind of. I mean, think about. It. We can't use any of the Guardian monsters. I, I'm actually really sad we can't use that version of Godzilla. I'll still call him Heisei, but I, you know, whatever. Fine. Wait, we 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 did kind of. M- I mean, did you read MM's match versus yeah, King like Kong? He basically that, did. I remember that. I remember that. He basically did what GMK did, except he turned Japan to a wasteland. I mean, you can't get more evil than that. I suppose. Mm. I mean, I mean, Brian and Godzilla would nuke the whole world. So, you know. Yeah, pretty much. Touche, uh. touche. I want to write. I, I want to write a match in the future where it's like the Super X Eight. Just keep building <laughs> more and more and more. Oh my god, that is... <laughs> Super X Super X Nine Thousand. <laughs> <laughs> Super the Super X the Super X X. <laughs> yes, Super X X. <laughs> super, X attack, super X attack over nine thousand. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's actually kind of a weirdly interesting they, thought. They 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 they, 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 they went the number so hard I called it Super Y now. So, okay, here's another on that same topic. What would happen if Space Godzilla reflected a beam that Super X two got? And the Super X2 made it more powerful and reflected it back. And they oh my doing goodness. That. Uh, <laughs> well, I mean, the Fire X2 dies. That's what happens. The Super X2 would probably be crippled eventually. It overheats. Yeah, because the Fire Shield would can melt. Mm-hmm. Can I, actually, can I just ask some more questions? Can we have the Super X and with, with another Super, the Super X2 and the Super X3 together, or no? Oh, having all three of them together? I, Super X three two. Super X one through three. It, uh, first off, it would be Super X X X uh, and uh, <laughs> Super X X X. Yes. Triple X. <laughs> Triple Super X. Uh, super porn. And I honestly, super porn. <laughs> and I honestly was thinking like uh, the X Y Z dragon, like X- from Yu Gi Oh, uh, in that fusion. I X- uh, oh gosh. Super X. Yeah. Well, they could just go, like, split apart, and, you know, Super X3 is, like, the main body or whatever, and, like, two pieces of Super X2 form the legs, and Super X is just, like, the head. The Super X Mechazord, the Super <laughs> Megazord X. <laughs> but, yeah, otherwise, perfectly fine with them being added again. Like, you Tango, they can be in, no, no, they just can't. No, 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 no I mean, like, the Super X. X and, like, the Super X3. Not, not, not just both of them at different times. Like, two of Two different Super Xs, you know, like Super X Model 2 and Super X Model 3 just hovering on the same area. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Okay. I mean, they, they can still be using the same match. Again, just... Um, can just, uh, can the kill. Super X 2 reflect the Absolute Zero cannon? No, because it's based through matter. So, that's, yeah, oh. that, pre- that pretty much freezes you down to matter. Or something like I, that. I, I, well, I wanna... no, 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 it fired through three buildings. Remember, in in uh, in it fired through three buildings, and it didn't I think lose you're talking form. About the AZC. 
Yeah, but, absolutely. Uh, that's Kira, yeah. Great time. Yeah. Uh, now, now I'm just imagining the, like, oh my god, Kira's going to rampage. The Sipwrex choose the quick here's the fire shield. Oh crap! <laughs> no, you know what happened? <laughs> the AVZ misses. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah it misses. It always misses. It's fine. Now Kira, you fire. It's like target lock and fires. It's just, it's just it's this big dramatic room. They just cuts the boss find the wrong. Right over it. Kira's saying, starts playing loudly through the speakers. He's just charging it, and the military just swarm him and shut him down. That quick fire one. He'll, he'll that quick before he actually fires it. Before uh, he, I, I actually would. Did, did someone, did, I want to write a match where they actually lamp shit that they never seem to fire the damn thing properly. <laughs> I, I seriously want to write a match where they're like, where they're charging the officer uh, so zero and the class kind of questions. Do we ever fire? I kind of just kind of ask. Will this actually hit for once? Excuse me, sir. I then think we again, should just I use the hyper maser. <laughs> <laughs> again, I do make that joke. I do make that joke in one of my matches, so sure. you're welcome. Sure. You're welcome. Just, 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 I'm going to rock that giant for you diamond the ace Z and it hits, and they're just like, oh my god, it hit. It's a miracle. <laughs> it's a Christmas miracle. It hit. Oh, look, it didn't kill him. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> I, I it hit, but it somehow <laughs> didn't kill him. <laughs> Uh, Time no, to no. auction that giant diamond on eBay. No, 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 yeah. no, 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 no. It's destroy a mid trend like he's you know turning back to his aggregates. One of the aggregates gets, that gets hit and destroys like whatever. <laughs> <laughs> and and it kind of like yes, it hit. He reformed. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it. <laughs> yeah. I kind of just cried and smacked you the keep. Then smack you the control pedal. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Why? 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 Kiru, also known as how many ways can we dodge the absolute zero cannon? <laughs> I, I'm just imagining, I'm just imagining, Kiru just kind of just sits there for a moment thinking to itself, wow. <laughs> it types, it types to a con it next here. This guy types to a con and next time we're using the super maser. The, the hyper maser. Hyper maser. Oh, I was going to make a bad joke involving uh, a certain game, MM and I play, about things constantly missing. Oh gosh! <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I, I, want want for, I want to write a match for King Ghidorah that just, like, just goes crazy with the gravity bullets. When he's finally stopped, turns out he missed. Not a <laughs> single one hit the target. It's like Mechagod's a dad. Mechagod's just standing there, just going like, <sighs> and the guys are like, just the, the pilots like brace under ramp out. That threads over. They're like, we dead? No, we're fine." We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. <laughs> yeah. Go, go, go. Dig door, you're fla flailing your heads too much. <laughs> yeah. Uh, like, uh, if we, if this dude's story is just going to stare in awe, just kind of stare at the screen and they're like, oh, what? It missed? <laughs> Actually. Gun kind of looks at Chuck and Chuck's like. Oh, go ahead. Uh, actually, regarding yes. talking monsters, regarding talking monsters, what? I think there is actually I one who would be able to pull it off. off. <laughs> <laughs> MM, you live? MM? Godzilla and Anguirus? No, I was thinking what, mechanic. What's the idea, darn it? They can be con. Yeah. Well, that's, Godzilla and Gears can talk, though. Well, well technically, with, uh, well, technically with all the, the monsters can if they hear that one. I don't, yeah, I, yeah, I don't yeah, think I don't had that tape on. Oh, man, that's uh, weird. But, okay, MM, I don't think we're allowed to write giant speech bubbles in the KWC. I was just about <laughs> to bring that up. Dang it. No, the speech yeah, bubbles no, would just uh, have to... Uh, I think there's that's what I mean. Godzilla with talking. a big speech bubble next to him. No, they grabbed the speech bubbles with our gears. on the banner. No, no, it's like you know the speech bubbles would all have to be fit on the banner, so it's like have fun reading that. Cute <laughs> 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 speech. Who, who wants to get Kaiju X a challenge? <laughs> 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 I'm <even> bought <laughs> now I'm gonna have the tape playing during the whole Godzilla <laughs> battle. Even butter. Oh, no, 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 even by the like, guns on the speak it backwards. Hey, reader! <laughs> oh, yeah. What about, what about the, what about the HB Godzilla? He says, oh, yeah, all the time. Oh, yeah! Really? Oh, yeah, no. Um, hey. 
I was like, oh. Uh, don't uh, don't mean to cut in, but I actually, uh, I just realized the time. I got to go jump onto something else. Uh, so I will. Or any more gray shot? Is that how it? <laughs> no, I, I, uh, I, I just realized the time. That's all. Get out of my no. all. <laughs> you know, you know, okay, fine, fine. I'll leave. I'll leave. But I'm going to leave with my held, held, my head held high. You're welcome. <laughs> Bye. 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 Um, Later, guys. Thanks again. Eight. <laughs> okay, okay, now that Grey Shot's gone, now that Grey Shot's gone, I just want to run this idea by you guys, because I imagine he's not going to listen to the final call on YouTube anymore. Uh, and that whole Godzilla match I was having, when I spoke about having uh, Grey Shot actually appear as a character, I was going to have him try and stop the whole thing by taking, like, have, letting Orga eat him, so he merges with Orga, <laughs> and then he eats Bye. Godzilla. I, he eats a god. He eats a Godzilla Saurus, Zilla, Space Godzilla, and Biolante, and then you got this like huge thing that's just being controlled by Gray Shot. <laughs> what I'm gonna do now? I'm gonna write a match where Kiryu is like being transported somewhere. I kind of get bored. She turns on the radio, so she and Kiryu, like Kiryu doesn't like the songs, so they fight over the radio. <laughs> what the. <heck? laughs> What? Kiryu's like, Kiryu's like, I can't even listen to classic rock. Kiryu's like, fuck you, Kiryu. I want to listen to the pop station, whether you like it or not. I don't care what you like. I don't care what your musical taste is, Kiryu. We're listening to Nicki Minaj. Oh, gosh. Well, so I do have a question about KWC things. Uh, two yeah. things. One. Um, can... Any of the combatants be killed by like a stage hazard? Uh, that's unquote, a prefer. That preferably a no. The only exception we'll have of stage hazards killing monsters is if there's multiple of them. So like, say if you have a like a gauss swarm, you could totally have like a the uh like the black hole cannon <laughs> wipe out a good majority of them. But the monsters need to deal the final hit. So wait, wait, wait! Can okay. we actually wait, wait, wait? So does that mean we can have the dimension tied end a match, but ended in a draw? Like the dimension tied match just smack them both, and so it's gone. Yeah, that's that's kind of one of the if uh, that's just kind of an iffy thing because it's like the two are fighting, but they they their draw is a byproduct of an outside source. So okay. maybe they could knock each other out, and then dimension tied gets them both. You know. Yeah, what brought this up was this <laughs> thought, you know, the Mark Light Cannon falling on Mogera. Right, 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 right. <laughs> Don't have that happen to Hasey Mogera. Oh my uh, god. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah uh, Land Mogera burrows too close and, like, a building falls on it. <laughs> yeah, that'd be great. Uh, I, I want to write a match where, where my Hasey Mogera is just as clumsy as Show Mogera. Like it, rolls, like it rolls over, like it rolls over, like a like a small incline just trips and falls over and flails its arms. Wait, no, 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 no you know, wait, 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 wait. That one Sherman tank that just goes gung ho. Oh. No, no, I got an idea. If you want, cl what? like, technically, Heisei Mogira is clunky, but what makes him go faster is treads. So imagine a Heisei Mogira that has defective treads, and so he has to walk. <laughs> uh, <laughs> No, 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 imagine my girl's like zipping on the one of its treads breaks off. <laughs> we, it's kind of like jitters and stops, and they're like, did it, did it break? What? Did we, how do we, they're like, they're kind of like, they're kind of like, uh, HQ, we know, <laughs> fix it. We need to get the pit crew here. Uh, guys, get, 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 get the tank crew, uh, hell. We ran out of oil fuel, so we can't fly. <laughs> guys, we're out of gas. <laughs> No, no, I, I'm just imagining, like, one of Broca's just breaks and starts to fly the rest of the way. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> or, like, or, like, um, or, like, um, or, like, one of, like, Lemma Girl, like, something happens, they try and merge back together, kind of, kinda, something goes wrong. Oh, my goodness. So, like, that kind of, so that kind of stuck at some awkward angle, and they're like, oh, man, I'm so dead. The turret ring's been hit. Nah, sorry. No, no, even better. They accidentally fused backwards. Like, the upper half of my gear was backwards. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> and they're like, yeah, he, his advancing speed is as slow as his reverse speed. So it's just incredibly slow moving forward. <laughs> Oh we can God, retreat God. back tactically no, 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 fast. Now I'm just imagining Mogera drift. Like, they're, like, zipping along, like, drifting along Tokyo. 
I'm like back up, back up, like Gary, like Mokus, like lurch and starts just backing up. Now I want to see a big. Now I want to. Now I want to see um uh, the Kaiju version of Wacky Races. It's all different, really insane cars they race with. Super super races. Super triple X. Super D. Duper. This is super D Duper X. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh man, that's that's freaking too much. That was something else. Uh, let's see. <laughs> but yeah, um I feel like there was something off the tip of my tongue. I can't remember what it is. Crap. Uh, shoot. <laughs> oh it happens whenever I get invited into stuff. <laughs> Uh, so space G, do you have any uh, any other questions coming to mind, or do I have to give you a little bit? Um, KWC animated. Is there any like what are the criteria for that? Just any any sort of animation? Uh, I believe there's an FAQ for that. So let me I'll link I'll link that to you real quick. Yeah, I remember I did ask if 2D animation was allowed. Oh right, right. I think I don't think there's a as long as it's presentable. I think that was about the only real requirement. As, yeah, long as, as, long as, as long as as long as it's actual quality, not like, not like whatever oh. uh, MM is planning. Right, right. The animated match of Gorosaurus versus the Wall. No, <laughs> no, no, no. I just imagine you trying to space gun through a figure to a terrain on a stick and dangling in front of a camera to see like him flying. <laughs> You just go. Hey, that's whoosh, not bad. That's whoosh, super whoosh. Toxic, that's cool. What's wrong with that? You know, this is have some uh, building that you just drew with like a sharpie. <laughs> hey, as long as it looks nice, I would say why not. I'll sign it with a big MF at the bottom. There's um, uh, there's just it's just a cardboard, just a cardboard box with the word building on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, it's pretty much like bare bones for. Just, you know, bare bones, free videos of free vinyl figures beating each other up. No, 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 yeah. it's, not, it's, not, it's not even an actual full motion video. It's just, it's just snapshots of, it's, it's just a little pit, a slideshow of the match. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. Yeah, it's, just like a, it's just a slideshow of, just diff, of, the, of the monsters in different poses. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. 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 I just have like, the worst fight music ever. <laughs> well, actually, MM, you and you and I have the biggest. Um, hmm. If you want magic, if you want magic, could do a sprite battle if you could manage it. I, I guess <sighs> I, be... I have. Hmm. That'd, be, that'd be pretty neat. That yeah, I have zero attention span for that. Huh. But yeah, that, 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 would would require, that would not mind. That would require Matt to make a lot more sprites instead of just <laughs> one for each of his. Yeah, <laughs> point taken. Nice. Mm -hmm. Um, there are hey. some sheets that yeah, exist. Yeah, it should be hard to find a sprite sheet of Godzilla and a few other monsters, I guess. Right. No way. I mean, yeah, I have all the sheets that pretty much existed. Hmm. That's interesting. I mean, I mean, I, I mean, I know a couple of YouTube. I mean, I, I know a YouTube. I, I mean, I know a, a YouTube that does really, really good sprite animations. Yeah, is it like a eight bit cinema or something? Or no, no, it's called um, uh, it's called Hyper Gauge. So they're the guys that did the one minute melee on death for a screw attack for like. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, those guys. They're their own channel now. Mm -hmm. I, I, you, if you, if you haven't seen the full, like the the little Mac vs. Epo, it's like a full seven minutes, a, a full three round fight. Oh, it's amazing. I know another guy who does uh, spray animations, and he's like Magnum Opus, I think, was an hour. I uh, you know. I'm yeah. just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna play Godzilla Save the Earth and submit that. And see if we'll see what happens. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> yeah, just, I, I just set my webcam up and point at my new TV when I get it here later this month, and I'll just put like Godzilla Unleashed on, and I'll just put like, ba like uh, Obsidian versus Crystallic and shoulders. 
<laughs> yeah, no, no, I think you gotta have like some like some snapshots of like the three D models, just like just for like close up poses. <laughs> no, 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 I'll do the fight G mod. I'll play these. I'll do. I'll do. I'll just. It sucks. Stop out source filming. I'll get it right. Godzilla skin. I'll download them. Uh, uh, King Kong skin. I'll have them fight in quotation marks. Oh jeez. This is ragdoll. Yeah, pretty much. I feel like the heavy comes in out of nowhere and just does something dumb. <laughs> Happy. Because oh. <laughs> that's all what Gmod is. Sorry, I, my, my disdain for that. Uh, my goodness. <laughs> <clears throat> so yeah, what about the what about that character survival horror game that might come out? I don't you think it's like City Shrouded. Wait, what? what? Oh, oh, City Shrouded and Shadow? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that. that it looks to be interesting. I'm actually kind of looking I, forward to see the final I version. I really want to I really want to know if um, uh, we're going to have a crossover between Ultraman and Godzilla. Uh-huh. Right. That's, that's probably G. <laughs> <laughs> There's going to reuse Sakai's model. I per I, I personally really want to, I, I really want to just a PS4 model. <laughs> I actually, I actually really, really want the game because I mean, to survive a horror game, be able to dodge Kaiju, that sounds amazing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's something you I'm don't like, get. Like if you're brave, the, the game really does need Clover in it, though. I'm just saying. Um, I don't know, right. I think that does Ultraman like more than one Ultraman from the looks of it is good enough for me. Well, there's, there's oh. Ultraman, and then it looks like there's imitation. There's, there's Ultraman, imitation Ultraman, and Bolton. I think are confirmed. And we have so a far. Uh, Bolton wasn't confirmed. Yeah, I, I don't think Bolton was confirmed. Was well, we saw he's it. just speculated. We saw it. And then we have whatever this is. Right. I don't Which, think that thing was sure. Bolton. I think it was just uh, something else. It's kind of hard. <laughs> <laughs> Well, there was, there was a flying monster in there. It's Red King. That's Red King. Maybe. It, Maybe. it could be Godzilla. anyone. It could be anyone. I, I, can see it. I can see it being Shin Godzilla, too. Oh, that right. am Budo. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, mean, I, really, I, really, I really like to get running around buildings trying to avoid rubble and stuff. Like having to go out in the street while they're fighting. Mm-hmm. That's like, good. Oh my God. <laughs> That is going to be an like, interesting but, well, like, uh, especially, the, especially the kaiju were actually fighting, so it's like, you you, like, you want to stay and watch it, but like, oh, this is awesome. Oh, right, and You're going right. to run really quick. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to stay like, made a poor life decision. Field. They get crushed by a rock. <laughs> yeah, pretty much, pretty <laughs> much. It's going to be, I, I'm um, really, because, like, a survival, a survival game that pretty much stars giant monsters beating the crap out of each other is like, that was interesting enough, but now they seem to be throwing in, you know, like Ultraman, maybe Godzilla into the mix. So it's like, oh boy, what are we looking at here? You know, uh, we're looking at we're looking at a fun time here. Uh huh. Right. Hey, could it actually be really cool to see, like, you know, Ultraman, who is known to be a heroic figure, you know, fighting and see how much casualties, you know, result from him fighting the other monster. Because we know his intentions are good, but... Yeah, we, we know, we do, he, he act if he doesn't try. But oh, no, right, right, kind of, right, That's kind of unavoidable, well, really. Mm-hmm. Ultraman's had his moments where he's, like, you know, judo throw monsters into buildings. And right, stuff. right. <laughs> yeah. Um, are we still recording, <laughs> by the way? Yeah. Okay. We're nearly at, we're nearly at two hours, boys. Uh, Matt's like, I know. Matt's like, I don't want my voice to be heard. No, I was about to say, uh, can, can I cut loose? <laughs> Get out! <laughs> yeah, you can cut loose. No, I don't want to. Shoot, we'll destroy so whatever. All the time. <laughs> 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 they had to make a censored version because of me. <laughs> yeah, I know, I did. Matt. I did, there was like five minutes worth I had to take out because of you guys. <laughs> God, you guys! It was, it was the Monica Lewinsky stuff, wasn't it? 
Uh, and plus, it, it, plus, it also didn't help that it was a special guest video too. So I was like, yeah, I think I really need to go in there and have a censored version for the for the younger <laughs> younger peeps. Oh god! Progress life decision of adding. Speaking of when when are we when are we going to get the uh, the other special guests? I'm still interested in being in a part of a, a group call with Arbok. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, that, yeah, Ar- Arbok Ar- is. Yeah, Arbok is going to be. It may be a long time. It's pre, you'll have to wait till the stars align on that one because he is. Uh, uh, I just oh. want to. I just want to start the call. Arbok follows when the first thing he says. You all turn the website into a hellhole. <laughs> the first thing he does. The first thing he says is, by the way, I don't read the KW. He's like, he goes, the KW what? Oh, oh, I don't read those. <laughs> I like all the quotes just thrown out the window. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! We should, we should, we should have, we should have um, uh, um, uh, Ripley Lloyd Scott, whatever his name is, I forgot already. Robert Scott Field. It's, yeah, Robert Scott. We should have him read um, uh We should, we, we should write a match with M11, and we should have him voice M11. Oh, that would be awesome! <laughs> oh, that would be awesome! Yeah, I, I mean, again, the, when it comes to special guests, it's not a one-time thing. If it's like if they're willing to come back, or if they have the time to come back when I ask, it's like it's like, I want hey, to talk to Matt Frank more. Oh right, right. Yeah, Matt I, Frank's pretty cool. Oh right, right, right. They're they're both really cool guys, and I hope to get more other peeps in here, like Chris Maury, Jeff Zorno, or you know, you, just whoever I can get get in contact with. Great shot. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How about Arbok? <laughs> yeah, all right, yeah, yeah, and Arbok. Let's get, let's get, that, let's get Titano Goji and ask him about dumb question about the KWC. <laughs> How about that was his entire career in a nutshell. Got asked a lot of dumb questions. <laughs> <laughs> let's put on Tom and ungrill him about all the stupid matches he made. Oh gosh. Oh man. <laughs> How about I, have a, I have a great idea. That is also horrible at the same time. Let's merge KWC and Bassy matches. Question mark. Shut up, Matt. <laughs> go right, go right. No, I want your opinion, Matt. God. <laughs> I'm go sorry right that I don't. I'm sorry that I want Indiana Jones and his new crew fridge versus T14 again. <laughs> go ride your Kaiser Ghidorah straight to hell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what if I had one? <laughs> Both of you stay there. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because they'll find a way to bring him back out from there. You know it. I don't know. He's stayed there long enough so far. If I was <laughs> ugly, I, I mean, I'm looking. I, look, I want to do the full botch on the Kaiser Ghidorah, and I'm like, oh my god, this thing is ugly. Yeah, I, I, mean, I had, I had to watch the fight, with Matt. Earlier. Like, 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 okay, like, like in the movie, it's you know, it's all dark and green. She kind of hides his appearance, kind of hides some of his appearance, but without all the grit and the smoke and the actual fight going on like a good <laughs> still shot that was, all like the a good, was not supposed to be like there a good still shot of Kaiser Ghidorah he's ugly Ooh, yeah. he has a weird he has a weird design he looks like a rock this color scheme is so off actually like a mix of blue and like orange like gross yeah, it's kind of weird uh, and actually like, actually oh, really, actually no Monster X is actually yellow ish like that, he like is the, yeah like the uh like the skeletal armor bits that's actually kind of has a yellowish tint for that matter his whole body I, is a yellowish tint i i'm actually colorblind so i thought i just thought it, i just thought it was white yeah I, I, the yes, movie I. the no, movie well. makes it look white but a uh like a uh oh man it was like one of those japanese books where you open up and you see like all the suits and all that and they're pretty oh, the much make. you know perfect uh. condition or whatever yeah, I think it's the lighting effect that makes Monster X look black and white, but in reality, he's like, you know, he's got a yellow tint going on with him. It's kind of weird. Why that? Why make the design choice that the, you know the lens going to make him look at it? Maybe, is it, because, is it because he's going to look black and white that they made that design choice? I have no idea. I guess it's just like, like the blue gel filter that they used. Like, they tried making it like a suit that's all white and said he'd be pure, like, blue. Or, or they're just bad photos that are oversaturated, either or. But that's interesting. I, I wouldn't mind. Uh, yeah, I know. It's, it's, it's really maybe, uh, maybe, uh, maybe they didn't take Papa care of the suit. Maybe I don't think that's the case, because the suit looks like it was in really good condition, but... 
I, I think someone just peed on it. Yeah, and, and I'm just, yeah, I'm I knew you were gonna go there. I knew you were gonna go there. I, I want to run it. I want to run him out for Godzilla's tail just falls off for some reason. Guess on the suit flub that they had. Oh right, <laughs> right, right. The suit how, flub. How about, how about the Mothra and larva appears and she has wheels? Yeah. What? Lo- Mothra tank. <laughs> oh gosh, yeah, that's right. Godzilla reels his head so far back in Final War that the neck mold pops. Yeah, I know. I, know. I, I, I want to ride, ride something where I'm just throw <laughs> Dan. And I want to ride so Dan and just motionless fine. in the air. Like, he is not moving at all. Just motionless, gliding. No, no, no. no. <laughs> if we had, no, no, hang on, hang on. If we had GFW Godzilla the KWC, I totally write a part where Godzilla goes about the match, like, missing, like, his upper body. Because there's, like, one point, like, one freaking, like, a uh, small scene in the movie where he's, like, slamming the tail before he's about to blast the meteor. It's like, if you look closely, you know, to the left, you'll see that, like, ha- the upper body of the suit's just missing. I am not what? kidding. Hey, I think you watch that scene, then I gotta, I gotta, I gotta look, pay more attention. I want to write a scene where God G Final War's gonna slides around because he's fucking slippery. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, it's like Final War's got to slide around like he's made of butter or something. Like he's just skateboarding really? on cars. Like, I <laughs> got to- Tokyo Godzilla drift over here. Uh, we got a real Tokyo drifter over here. <laughs> just a bunch of cars. You see a bunch of cars. Getting my coordinates, see a giant, just because those sports do the exact same thing. Right, right. Oh. How, how about how about how about a scene where Godzilla's jaw, like like his upper lip, just separates from the rest of the jaw, so it's just flopping around like it does it's in like a mock snake. Or, yeah, or how about all those more of a, uh... self-destruct on stage? <laughs> How about a scene? How about how about we start a match with Kamanga? Luchi finally, Luchi will finally finally land after Godzilla launches it. He just lands on top of one of the kites and that starts the match. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Throws Kamanga so far over the edge and hits Monster X. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, that's no, 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 no. that freaking moment. Godzilla mode. launched Kamanga into space. It's just the floating carcass bonks into space, Godzilla. Oh my. <laughs> He's not going no, no, no. back to a black hole. <laughs> 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 I'm finally back. <laughs> Mulgaro and Spoke is about to fight them and come on his cork. That's how Mulgaro got back to Earth. Earth. That's how Mulgaro came back to Earth. You know, his engine's malfunction. Kamoga went so far and fast in the space, you know, because he keeps speeding up as he gets thrown. Just hit Mulgaro and change his trajectory back to Earth. <laughs> right. <laughs> hey, we don't have to build another one. <laughs> okay, so did so did Mulgara crash on Earth? I we don't know. Toho says otherwise, apparently. Yeah, I know. Well, you mean, to, you, you mean apparently, it's engines are failing, it, it took this long journey, and it managed to have a safe landing. <laughs> like, it just managed to touch down as gently as possible, like, all systems green. Now, I'm imagining, like, in the atmosphere, and they're screaming, like, we're gonna die! Incoming, incoming! Oh, shit! All the Gundams that Japan has came out of nowhere and just no, like. No, no. No, I'm not. I just imagine Mogero just, just just shrieking through the sky and smashing into Ontario, Mogera. Canada. Mogera. Mogera. <laughs> last words. It's last Famous last words. words. <laughs> it's last can, words. We have, can we have Mogera talk to KWC and just say his name like a Pokemon? No. Mogera. Nah. Oh, can we have, can we have Mogera, the famous jumping Mogera? I mean, he can fly. Because so I know really in no the games, Mogera can jump like a frog. Yeah, I know, I know. But right? No. Just. I mean, he can fly, so I see no point. All the time when Mogera, all the time when Mogera turned on Mogera Lawn. <laughs> Mogera Lawn. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. Because someone got lazy. I Has that even been fixed yet? I, I believe. So. I, I believe that was fixed. fixed. I believe. Because yeah. I really, really, I was really tempted to write a match and just screenshot that and put attach that to the file when I resubmit the match. Yeah, yeah. He's I'd be right. like, hey, I feel like that's I'm not breaking right. the rules, guys. That's right. That's right. Yeah, Mogira's. Oh yeah, but like... apparently, you know, l- 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 click on the full list. Yeah, that's what Mugera's I was going to say. Click on the full list. It takes you straight to Mothra Leo Omega. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 
<laughs> Great, I could have Mogera Leo then. <laughs> also, have also Mogera use also Mogera use every single country, but he bought its own. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh. it, it, it's like it, it's like I'm a Mokuji from Tech, and he uses other characters' different moves. Uh. It's a combat fighter. Oh my god. Morgera. Yeah, hang on a second, guys. I actually found that uh, bit I was talking about from Final Wars where Godzilla's upper half's missing. Yeah, oh. I found it. So I'm, I am I know MM can't really see it from his Skype, so I'm uploading it to my photo bucket so that way y'all can see it. No, so. I, can see, I, can see, I can see pictures now. I can see pictures now. Dang oh, whatever. Well, do it for me. All right. No, just do it for me because I can't see pictures on Skype. Oh, okay, okay. Man, right. yeah, I got, I got, I, I, got, got I don't want to get up and get on my desktop to get to just, just see a freaking picture. Okay, right, right, gotcha. Wait. Yeah, give me a moment. Give me a moment. All right, GFW flub. That's what I called it. All right. Do you think? Do you think if I'm a Godzilla is and I'm a city shot in shadow, they're gonna have a radiation meter? Like the closer he gets, the more the radiation meter goes up. Oh, that would be cool, but I don't think that would be likely though. But yeah, yeah, look at it. Look at it. I don't want to see this. Where is this? Oh, fuck it. Come on. Oh my god. Yep, that's it. Look oh, at that. Oh my god. <laughs> the ash brain. Wow. Sentient. <laughs> Are you sure he's not just bent over though? No, you can clearly no, you can clearly see the dangling carcass that was his upper half. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's like there's no way his head would bend down like that. It's like what? How do you miss out on such an obvious freaking detail? I want to ride a match where my Godzilla gets torn in half, but the brain just, but his brain because he functions so like his legs move on its own. It's because of his butt brain. Yeah, it's his butt brain. <laughs> it's, 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 I mean, you have a Kaiju Yuba model or something, and uh, that's neat. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I upload Which, those. What's that? Um, I, I, I found them on a Japanese site, but I couldn't like save them, so I had to like screen cap them. And, uh, yeah, I had to screen cap them, save them in paint. And, I'm, uh, I'm actually going to eventually... Does, does, this mean, does this mean we're going to be getting a Kaishin Yuba match? Uh, Gray, I believe Grayshot said he kind of liked to add Kaishin Yuba to KWC, so I'm just kind of getting these in advance. So, hey, I'm a, hey, Kaiju X, is there any possible way we could actually get show a Gamera monsters? Other than, you know... Yeah. I, I don't I don't, I don't think, think that would be possible. Get in, get in Ultraman Jack or uh, well another Ultraman that isn't Ultraman, right? You mean Ultra Seven? Well, we could do Ultra, Ultra Seven. Technically, technically we could do Ultraman Jack and Ultraman Taro and Ace. Technically, yeah. Yeah, but not Seven. So remember, we we remember, can technically do all the Ultras up up to Taro. Yeah, I believe. including Taro. Oh right, because there was the one episode of Please. like. Oh, we, we should do, we should allow Ultra Mother. Oh my god, no. I know. We should allow Ultraman Zero. Actually, I, wait, I, I, MM, Ultra. MM. Actually, does the Land of Light appear in Ultraman Taro? Yeah, I think it does. It does. But it's nothing like the one in... Okay, I mean... In the modern... I, I use yeah. the Ultra Grey... I mean, I use the Monster Graveyard based on a loophole from the first from the first episode. Wait, really? Uh, the, the monster grief is specifically stated to, of where Bolt, of where, you know, Ben Miller escaped from. Oh! It is. So I cheated, and I cheated and used that as an excuse to go there. Oh. Huh. Yeah, it, it's been there from the beginning. Weird. Oh, that yeah, no, is we just, we, just, we just never saw it much, like the actual landscape I, of it. Until I, I, it. You, oh, know, right, right. you know, you know... You know what Ultra should be in the KWC? My Zero. favorite, my boy, Zero! Oh, God. Matt and Harley, you are both dead to me now. <laughs> what? 
I hate you both. <laughs> Who would you rather choose other than Zior? No, okay, okay. I was going to play sarcastic. Oh, get out of here. I hate Ultra Ultra. With the Ultraman powered. Ultraman powered. <laughs> oh, Zior needs to be in here. <laughs> the powered. What about what Ultraman, about? Ultraman great? <laughs> the Ultra Cosmos. <laughs> Ultraman. Oh, hey, we could we could actually have the Ultraman USA tree in the KWC. Yeah, but which Ultraman? The Ultraman USA. Oh, good. Yeah. American Ultra, Ultra America. <laughs> Pretty much. Here, let, let me uh, let me let me get let me get them to you. Oh. Well, in the same vein, we could also have someone like Mirror Man show up. But that's not gonna happen. Yeah, sadly. No so Mirror like, Man, so like no Man. Yes. Cause, but they're they're animated, but I mean, they're ha they have like a, they have live action suits. Really? Monsters that is weird. Oh yeah, Ultraman Chuck, <laughs> Scott, Ultra Woman Beth, and some monsters. <laughs> That's King Ma King Ma Oh god. Aren't these ultras supposed to be like um like are these supposed to be like not actual ultras? No, they're I... ultras. I remember, so uh, uh, Ultra Cannon? Yeah. Uh, uh, well, sort of. They take place in their own, like, little... Well, I, I remember, I, I remember, because aren't these Ultras supposed to be, like, they're Ultras, but they're not, like, actual, or they're not Ultraman Ultras, they're different Ultras? Uh, well, it takes place in a different universe than the Showa era ones do. Yeah, Though, but, yeah, they, but... they, they cameo in the Ultra Galaxy Legend movie. Yeah, but Ultraman. Yeah, but you know, you know, how Ultraman's continuity is. It's it's messed up. It's bad. <laughs> it's worse than. God. No, they're, 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 I don't know where exactly it's from, but I, I was actually I, I was a part of me was actually I, I kind of wish Ultra Galaxy was actually studio by Toho, so we could have excuse of every like all the the giant monster army in Ultraman had that one little scene. All these oh. monsters in the K scene. Okay, thanks. Oh gosh, yeah, I know that. Now... Had had that been the case, that would have been a great snow one. gone. <laughs> snow gone. Snow gone. Sartan. Where is beef when we needed him? <laughs> well, Too busy I mean, doing things. Technically, te I mean, if you want to be technical, MM wasn't. Uh, uh, Grace, I didn't really deny that loophole. Right. Which loophole? The loophole that MM found that we can bring in a different ultra. I mean, based oh, on this, right. we can bring a whole bunch. We can bring like a whole ultra family at this point. Yeah, I mean, technically speaking. Wait, does that, yeah. that thing include Emperor? Wait, yeah, wait. that 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 thing includes Emperor. Yeah, that included Emperor. Yeah, yeah, Emperor. That's so. actually not scary. Ooh, yeah, gosh. which Emperor? Emperor in the KWC would be. Mm -hmm. A force. Yeah, he's about to show Godzilla who's the real king. Exactly. <laughs> like I could, I could, I could actually see myself writing a match, which would be like literally Godzilla, Space Godzilla, Destroyer, King Ghidorah, and Bagan versus Emperor. Godzilla Ooh. can't lose because he's the king of the monsters. Yeah. And, and the first thing that. Oh gosh, Emperor that guy. Oh, Bagan. good glory. Yeah. And now I'm trying to alien Emperor. Wait, wait, can, you, can right. I get like a picture of Emperor or something, please? I can't because I might, I might be spawning. Yeah, hold on. And his shadow punches that he has in um the King of like, like, I want Grisa as KWC so badly. Grisa, Grisa would be cool, but this is uh this is Emperor. Oh, so I was about to say Belial, but then that's a horribly oh, one side. Oh, yeah, I remember this. Belial, 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 would, Belial would be cool. Oh yeah, Alien Emperor. That sounds like he, he looks cool. Uh huh. Yeah, he was. He yeah, he was mentioned in that episode. Though uh -oh. at the same time, yeah, that hmm. well, he, he's a he's a black figure. That's right, right. He's yeah. a black figure in the sun. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's the Emperor. Oh, man. man, all these balls. So this that is like apparently a remake of it. I don't know if this is canon or not. Uh, yeah, I was actually just looking at the same picture. Uh, they actually have, like, I, another one. I can hear, uh, Kaiju, I can hear you salivating at the thought of all these Ultra Kaiju just yeah. appearing. But I don't, I don't think we get all of them. Oh, I, I, not, I, 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 probably I, not, but the Emperor, Emperor uh, like, oh boy. I want Emperor. If there's one thing I will vote for, I will say Emperor above all else. 
Right. Uh, I would say it, Emperor is a first, bit of a dark zone because so, for. Hang on. Emperor, I, I, at least I, in my I opinion, would, is in like, a bit of a dark zone because, like, for one, the appearance he does have in Ultraman Taro is pretty much a big silhouette. So it's like, uh huh. You know, it's, have, it's just a big wow. silhouette, so it's just kind of hard to make him out. And then the only other yeah, time he actually, actually appears is in Mebius, which I don't think is distributed by Toho, so it's, it's not. like crap. Yeah, it's not like I was going to say, because time... if we did use the one, if we did use the Mebius one, that'd give us a whole bunch of others to use, like Yahoo, uh-huh. he's in that shot. Right, uh-huh. right. I don't think it's the fact we're using Ultra 7, and Ultra 7 was distributed by Toho, right? Uh, Ultra uh, 7 Ultra... The series was not distributed by Toho, but the so Ultra was Seven through getting Ultra into Taro. Ultraman Taro. Yeah. Yeah, see, if we're going off that flim if we're going off that, really? And we're not we're not gonna at least allow Alien Emperor? Yeah. The other it's thing I was gonna hang on, hang on. The other thing I was gonna mention too is that technically since the designs did seem at least from the Ultra series in general, designs do tend to seem to be consistent. So while it's a very again, this is also very much a stretch in of itself, but I wouldn't be unreasonable to say add the alien emperor that appears in Mebius because he appeared in Taro, you know? Oh, come on. I, I will say, I will say that if we're stretching at this point, we're already stretching without an Ultra 7 because of Ultraman Taro. Right, right. But at least 7 physically appeared in that one, though. Yes, 7 actually does stuff in Taro. Yeah. Like, these guys... Wait, are wait, wait, wait. Like... We're getting Taro stuff in here? Well, Sorry, Ultra Seven. Well, uh, Toho had oh. distribu- had distribution involvement with Taro, yeah. Oh, uh, so yeah. does that mean we can get Tyrant? No. no. Shouldn't, shouldn't that be uh, it's, that, it's the, specific the kaiju, episodes, I believe. Shouldn't the, that mean we can get Taro the kaiju, kaiju then? Kaiju met, what are uh, Astromonts, Basara, and that moth thing. What, so what is why it? isn't Ultraman Taro the one in the KDB six? I would choose the one. I would choose the you know. I got all because stuff. Taro because Taro sucks and Ultra Seven doesn't. <laughs> okay, good. Because you're biased. Yeah, and no, because I actually might... like Ultraman Taro, but Ultra Seven fits way better. Oh, I agree. I agree. Seven fits way better. And as far as I'm personally concerned, I see Ultraman and Ultra Seven as the legitimate Ultra children to Subaraya, like the man himself. So, I that... I really wish we could. Have, I really wish we didn't have to have you know names. You know, we we could have like a surprise entrance in the middle of the match, and it's not in the title card. Yeah, I, I kind of wish we could do that too. Because I want to, I'm thinking of that's how Ultra, like Ultra Seven would debut, like, you know, Ultraman's, you know, low on power, you know, oh my god, he's in trouble. All of a sudden, you hear, SWATCH! And just Ultra Seven just out of nowhere just comes in with his eye sluggers ready to kick ass. Just out of the blue. So, um, one other question. You know, since we're using technicalities for some of these, technicality, um, for like Gomez and all the other, like, Jurass and stuff, mm-hmm. since they technically used a Godzilla suit, can they technically worm their way in? I believe that was just uh, I believe that was confirmed as a no. Aww. Like I said, the sway of Ultra 7 being, you know, a Super Eye Child is just a bit more of a biased thing. It's not the reason why he's getting in there, though. He's getting in there because of Taro, because he made the imper- uh, an appearance of Taro, not because he's Super Eye's right. child. That's just my. That's just more of my bias speak when I mention him being Super Eye's child. That's yeah. that's like how I had to dig and dig and dig to find any sort of loophole to get Bolton involved. Yep. And he was able to find one. So and but Bolton's special space. Space. that's so high grade too. What's the other? I remember you found that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now yeah. we could just get Zeton in there. That'd be awesome. Yeah, that that's that's my big one. That's who I'm. I'm trying to. I am trying to weasel any loophole I can for Zeton. Like, I might have found one for Clay King now, and if only I could find one for Zeton and one I for want, King Joe. I want, yeah, I, want, I want to add King Joe Black. I want to add King Joe. I want yeah, to King add Joe's pretty cool. He's Jiggy pretty cool. King, I believe... King Joe Black will be impossible right now because he's too far into the series. Yeah, King well. Joe, th- there has to be some way. There, there has to hey, be some sort Hey, King of Joe. Mm-hmm. I'm actually trying to look up the distribution information for Ultraman Story. 
Oh. Because if we would get, if Ultimate Story would have been any way involved with Toho, we could then get Silver Bloom, Grand King. Oh, Matt would right. love that. I think we'd probably get Tyrant. I think Tyrant was an Ultraman story. We got yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we'd, be able to, we'd be able we'd be able to get a lot more Ultra Brothers too. Yeah, father of well, Ultra Mother. It, it would, yeah, but I don't, no, no, we got we'll, we'll be able to get Taro, Ultraman, Ultra Seven, Jack, Ace, and Eighty. We we can already get we can already get Jack, Ace, Taro. True. Right. Was Eighty was Eighty in story? Eighty is in story. Yeah. Yeah, he's. He's like by stock footage, same way like Silver Bloom and everyone else. Yeah. Yeah. So I got to think, I, I think Zeton's in Ultimate Story. I think King Joe is too by stock footage. Eddie's helmet, Eddie's helmet looks goofy. <laughs> I don't know, guys. Oh, I, I am going to head off for here because I got to walk my dog and everything. And yeah, I thought, I thought this was probably a good place yeah, to end it. Yeah, yeah, this is probably a good place to end it because it's like, you know, two hour mark. So it's like, yeah, sure. Yeah. I, this is probably a good place to end it. It's a lot of editing. So. All right, thank you guys so much for coming along this time. It's great having you guys. Oh. Spa Space G, I hope you come back more often. No idea. Yeah, you were fun. Hey. You're fun here, Matt. Yeah. Thank you. So, all right. Talk to you later, guys. See ya. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, yeah. everybody.